Welcome everyone, Jeff Gross here. We have got another massive final table. It is season two, episode 49. It's the Super Millions. We have got another stacked final table, big prize money at the top and a very special guest. That's right, the latest, the greatest Players Championship 50K champion, world champion, just won 1.4 million back-to-back -back titles, I may add. We got Dan Jungleman Cates in the building. Dan, come to the stage, how are you? Dev, I'm good. You're good. You're good. You're in Vegas. You're ready to rock. You're about to. Uh, you're about to dive right in. We're gonna get in. How do you feel? Is it? I mean, you won back to back, man. Just give me before we go pick up the action. How does it feel to be the best uh, 50k player champion in the world again this year? Uh, how does it feel? <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> um, uh, you know, they couldn't handle uh, the pizzazz and the spice and all that shit. Uh, and uh, what else can I say? Um, you did it. You, you did it. You got it done is what you can say, Dan. But today you're going to be calling action on some of the best in the game. 10K, final table, super millions. We're going to talk more about your your win in a second. Let's take a look at the action, who we got at this featured table. See if you know any of these players. Ring a bell. Let's take a quick scan here, Dan. Anyone that jumps out, I, I see Victor there. I mean, you might be familiar with, you know, Andres Nemeth, any of these other players, Nicholas Ostet maybe? Let me take a look. Uh, let's see. No, man, I don't know who any of these guys are. <laughs> All right, beautiful, beautiful. Let's let's first off. I just got to point out Victor Malinowski. Can we put his record up in the Super Millions? I mean, this guy's almost won ten million in GG Poker alone, three million in the Super Millions, and I swear. He has been at a final table, I think, four or five out of the last six weeks. It's almost every time my man's been automatic, really Oops. putting on a nice show. That's Victor Malinowski down there. You know Victor, oh, man. man. Don't this... tell me you don't know. Don't tell me you don't know him. I know Victor. Uh, yeah. I don't like the Shanghai guys, but I don't know what that is. That that, that play, I, I'm going to have to veto that play. I don't like that at all. No. No. I yeah. mean, his play is, like, transparent and, like, it's not a good stack size, and it's just, it's just, come on, bro. Uh, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> J but Jungles, he's not aligned with the play to start. Yao Poker also has a very impressive record. I do feel like he is at a lot of these final tables, so we're going to take a look here. Look at that and the GG Poker winnings and the Super Millions. I think he actually maybe just had one other final table, but recently. This um, guy looks like bro. He looks like he's got something going on. He could spice the flop up. I mean that would be it would be pretty spicy. I'm not gonna lie, but he could. He's got like some backdoor action. Uh, Victor's got all sorts of moves. I, I know that Victor's probably pretty, really good. Is my guess. Well, he I, is. I don't know why this guy's tank. Why do people tank on these spots? I don't know if they're like trying to make sure they're looking at their cards right or I don't know. You like we'll speed see. of play, Jungle. You don't want to huh? see tanking. I know the people at home don't want it. First of all, welcome in, everyone. Thank you for watching. Please hit the thumbs up if you're excited for Dan, Jungle Man Case, to be in the building. That's right. He is, he's in the mix. He's in here. It's early in Nevada, but he is here for us, and we're going to have a big day, and we're going to be chatting about a lot of things. And also, first, we got to pick red or black. Let's get our snake trap going for the next flop, Dan. You want right. red or okay, black okay. to do our, our gamble. I'm feeling red right now. Feeling red. Feeling red. All right. So we'll keep that. We've got to remember for the next flop. We'll then decide who goes first. We're going to do a one, two, two, two. And then I'd like to give the audience a player for them to sweat at home. So we are going to do that. We're going to give the audience someone to sweat. I believe I owe $300 for the uh, last for the last week thing. We're going to do that giveaway as well. We'll get a moderator in the chat to do that at the end of the show. But look at this, man. What do we got here? A little Queen 8 defend, Ace 2 suited. Everyone's got a piece. What do you like here from our friend Arsene? What do you like for him to do here? Oh, he's going to the lead think? jungle. I don't think I really like this size uh, for a lead. He can lead. Lead is probably like a little better if I have to think about it. Um, I don't really think it's that great, frankly, because they're, well, they're pretty deep, so he can get away with it. But the thing is, like, it doesn't really matter that much. It, 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 it's like leading like at five or six, I would think. But I haven't really looked at the solver for these sort of um lead, like hypothetically like he he's like saying like after a check calls okay now my range is stronger than yours and you don't have that many fours but like he's not gonna 
Well, okay, maybe he is. Whoa. Okay, that's wow. That that was spicy. That was really spicy. Uh it's not something you see every day. I don't know. Who is this dude? Like, is this like a pro play? I, I've just never seen I guess pros can do that, but I've never seen anyone do that. Um our setting. Can we put him on the stage? So <laughs> Jungle wants to see a profile. Can we put Arseni on? Look at this man. Who is this man? He's got 4.7 millions on GG, 1.5 in super millions. Wow. Jungle, that dude? was that was spice. That was a weird as Jungle play. likes to say. That was an early spice, and we need that to was see not, a that was not a normal play, dude. Um, I mean, maybe it, it seems okay. It seems good. Like if the guy just snap folded his ace, it looked great. The guy just <laughs> so he's holding a lot of hands if he's holding there. I mean, that ace is not really any different from anything else. Um, if anything, it's like better to call. Um, okay, I haven't seen that. Uh, but I could see that being good play. Uh, I'm really surprised by that. Who is this guy? Um, I'm curious to see what else he'll do because that's uh, that's one of the spicier ones I've seen in a while. <laughs> Jungle, uh, we gotta wake you up, man. This is the first. We're starting out with a bang. Look at the payouts. We got two hundred twenty-one thousand U.S. dollars going to first, thirty thousand for ninth, and we need a flop so we can get our gamble on for. We'll go for a nice dinner, maybe a Michelin dinner. Winner, uh, winner will be getting a free meal. We'll, we'll start with that. But I like that play. I like that. He's a like he's that. a low toddy on stars. I like wonder if that's okay. GTO. I, I have no idea. I mean, it could be because the other guy does have lots of medium pairs. I mean, the other guy does have like nines and tens and stuff pretty often, right? And he could have like a pair of eights and he could have aces really a lot. Um, so I can see it. I can see it. It's just not, I could, it, you know, if people are just snap folding an ace by all means. But to be fair, uh, like if, if you know that a guy is turning like mid pair into a bluff there, you should not be folding top pair because let me tell you, it's not easy to have a four right there. Uh, maybe he just does it on like that seven card, but he can still have like a million gut shots. So there's a million hands he could do it with. Um, I, I wouldn't, I would think he would pick, if he's going to have to do this, I would think he would prefer to pick like, what was there? It's ace four, eight, like definitely any bottom gut shot first and then high cards, I guess. Uh, well, maybe not high cards. Maybe like a seven or something. Did we just miss yeah. that flop, Jungle? I think that was a uh, that was diamond spade. We can't rewind, can we? I can see it though. It's a diamond spade club. So that is black or er, club spade. Yeah, they're great. That's we can do it again, Jungle. If you missed it, we can do it again. Let's do it. Let's do the next flop because I didn't. I had to catch on the replay. It's a multicolored deck. Let's 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 do it again. Next flop. I'll give you a free roll on it. We're gonna get to try again. This guy folded ace king there. What's uh, I don't a uh, king queen that doesn't seem right. Um, what we're coming out. Joe, this is high. Wait, this is no, no limit. Oh, limit. There's more. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought, I mean, even then, it's kind of nuts. Like the guy had 11 big lines or something, or 12 big lines. All right, we see ace deuce suited on the button open. Let's see what our friend here does with pocket fours in the small what blind. I was going to raise. Right? It seems like this obvious raise, yeah. What? Wow. This seems like the would, raise spot. It seems like sure. a great spot to shove, actually, just with the two stacks there and their size. Yeah, well, it's not just left. that, but, like, look at all the stacks with the same size. Like, and if this guy is raised folding, I mean, I don't know how often he's supposed to open, like, perfectly. Uh... Wow. Okay, Victor. See, Victor folded sixes. That's kind of a strong fold. Um, I, I could see that being a fold for sure because there's not much value in opening sixes under the gun. When like, look at all the stacks, right? Uh, and yeah, I just think you know this was this was the most obvious shove on the planet with pocket fours. I would have thought. Um, I mean, there's just so many mid stacks, and there's a shorty, and the guy just doesn't want to like. He's not going to want to get it in with like anything, basically. Is what I yeah. think. I, I don't really like this raise fold. Couple interesting hands so far to start out here. We see King Do suited limp in in 10 8, check back top pair on 10 9 3. King rolls off on the turn, so he gives a free card, and they're just checking no bet on the turn. Uh, four liner on the river, and very interesting. This guy, Shanghai, and, could bet the river. 
and otherwise the hand is normal. Make, makes sense. Everything checking out. So we have seen Victor off a very short stack a few times here at the Super Millions find a way to, to get to the end here. He is on a middling stack. And, and man, Jungle, we're both sleeping on the flop. I actually don't know what that last flop is. You have red. So this could be a flop here. Let's see if we can get okay, uh, two I get red, red or this okay. might just get jammed in though. How do you I'm see? not so sure about I I mean, the thing is that this guy should be opening wide. This arsony guy, I don't know if... Okay, well, uh, this makes me happy to see. This puts a little smile on my face. Um, unfortunately, arsony has got uh, a seven because probably there's going to be some stuff going on. Uh, yeah. But yeah, because he's got a seven, spicy. it wouldn't have gotten too spicy. Like, you, you, Victor was always going to call there. I mean, come on. And then yeah, it's a lot. now real quick, uh, Jungle, you won the, you won the red, you won the red. Let's not miss it. You oh, have yeah, got yeah. the flop. So uh, you're going to get to pick know. fist, pick first on the next, next, um, okay, so to pick first on this draft. Probably this guy goes for a check raise here. Probably Victor goes for the check raise is my guess. Or for a small bet. I, I'm going to go with both those two options, I guess, but it could be totally wrong. Okay. Um, yeah, there's a lot of reasons to go for a check raise. I like a check raise the most personally, but I could see a small bet being better there. Um, I don't really like a big bet in that spot in this situation. Maybe sometimes, but you would... Uh, uh, what? I don't understand this comment, but okay. I, people can, I guess people can say whatever they'd like to say. Uh, yeah, like I should obviously go all in with a six, and this guy should fold. I think, yeah. All right, so we got a six and a call, ace ten in the big blind. So we do have our first player, Anders Nemeth, at risk. Does flop the top and bottom? Pretty big favorite going to the river has to fade a queen, a ten, and he does just that. So Anders Nemeth, very tough opponent, one of the strongest players in the world a six gets shown by nicholas ostet and that is going to double him up so still in the game over 10 blinds and he picks up a pair of sevens he is going to potentially run right into those tens there he does rip it in and this player we saw fold a couple spots i mean it's only three hundred thousand. he's got 1.8 million he's played pretty snug so far but I mean, this is just, what are we talking about? Yeah, yeah it's probably a cooler. I could see how it might be a fold, but no, I don't think so. Sevens is pretty good. All right, so sevens at risk. Andres Nemeth was just all in. He is going to need a seven or a seven only, or he will be our ninth place finisher. No, he needs a three, and... man. You forgot about the threes. Oh, you're what are right. You three about? to chop. You're right. Three to chop. Like Jungle, like keep three. me on my toes. Keep me on my toes. There is a knockout weird down to eight. And let's start picking players. So we got eight left. Andres Nemeth, two, two million super millions earnings. GG winnings over 13 million. Absolute savage crusher of a player. And let's start with the draft. So you pick first, Jungle. Who you got? I picked Victor, of course. You're picking him with 800,000 to win. Oh, wait, That's wait, 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 wait. I want to take that back only because of the chip stack. Well, like, you know what? I'm picking him anyway. I'm going with him anyway. I'm going with the, the heart of the cards or whatever. With the Wow. Wow. Jungle, that's strong. All right. Well, I get – I believe – so I get two picks, but, I mean, it feels almost unfair if you made that. That's, that's not about a, the money anymore. All right. I'm going to go with um, – I'll take – I'll take Ars, I'll take Andreas and Arsene. You get two now. Oh, I get two. I, yeah. how does that, I guess that makes sense. Uh, well, obviously, this a uh, Durs dude, um, okay. and uh, this will be way funnier when I win. And um, let's see who else. Well, not this Nicholas guy. After that, after wait, wait, the Nick. I forget what he did that wasn't good. It was the ah, he made ah, the, ah I've got the guy who didn't shove the force. Damn it! Um, <laughs> I pick Yao Poker also. All right, so you got Yao in, in the A jersey. All right, I'm going to take Nicholas and oh, – that's it. We'll just go – so I have I have three, right? I have already got two and one. We'll just do one more each then. I'll take Nicholas and you pick one more. Um, 
Okay. So basically, know... Shanghai or nothing works. I didn't know uh, the, the next fix. Well, then I picked Shanghai. Okay, and I'll right, take. Well, I need to double up. The... <laughs> double up from Nicholson to the Sarsony dude. And I got nothing works. We'll do a nice dinner. We'll put that on the line. I'll probably give a. I'm going to go ahead and free roll. Nothing works as well for the chat for, we'll say 200 bucks. If somehow he can come back and win it, it's asking a lot, but we did see last week, the chat capitalized on a free roll. I got 300 to give away. We'll find a way to do that on stream today or the next show. If we have a moderator in there, but look at this King queen, King jacket and spicy. Is this going to work? He's got a different. Ooh, uh, nice. Play there. Well, I don't know why you showed the King. Um, I don't know why I showed the king. Who is this Andreas guy? Um, I, I king queen. I don't think. Well, actually, I could forbid a king queen. I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. Why not? Uh, it just doesn't seem like really. You know, when I see people three about this king jack hand, um, it does seem it's okay. It's just okay. It just, I just like, what's the point of this doing this too much in that specific spot? I don't really see the point. Um, unless someone really is opening wide, maybe the guy is. I don't know. If he's opening wide, then then I like it. But if he's opening reasonable, I don't like it. All right. Well, we see Victor defend Jack Five suit. It does flop top right, pair and over my... to the six seven suited. Comes with a small bet, and let's see how. Victor I like will it. play this. Oh, geez. So far, this guy is not <laughs> representing so well. He's just giving Victor chips. He's good at being a good team member. He's shipped up to the guy that I know plays well. This is the 6-7 suit. I don't really like that much, but it's okay. It's just I personally would do something else with it. Let's see what he does now. You know what I mean? It's Now he's got two random cards that are kind of uh, not that great to have. They're actually not that bad to have in a sense. On this card, um, I think he should definitely follow through, but I don't think that it's really a great bluff combo on the river. Why not? All right, so, so he does see. size up. Healthy bet here puts Victor in a bit of a tough spot, although as played, I mean, he flopped top pair, over card well, comes off, and I think he's just Well, we know gonna... what's going to happen. I'll tell you what's going to happen. It's going to go check, check on the river, uh, and Victor's going to win. So let's see that. That does seem logical. I don't think 6-7 is going to go for a hero play here. Now let's see if uh, what Victor comes up with. Maybe he thinks that this player just checks back too much with some showdown. So let's see. Maybe he does go for a bet, I actually. I can't believe he did that. That's so weird. That being said, the 6-7 suit is actually not that bad of a hand to bluff with here. Um, after he checks, but once he leads, I don't know why he leads. Maybe he just thinks this guy... This is that passive? That's a bit of a strange play. Mm. Yeah, definitely not your typical typical line. And then on here, Ace Eight suited under the gun, ten blinds, eight handed. He has got a bit of a decision. This is your. This is who we're no. repping at home. Goes what? for the min raise jungle. How's he going to do anything besides show? What? I, I, don't, I don't see it. Maybe maybe there's something I'm missing here. Maybe this is some weird ICM stuff where like he just he. Like, he's pretty short. He's the shortest stack. I think you should just jam it in. Yeah, risk premium the lowest. We do see a three bet here for uh, a small this, sizing. This guy does the cute play. I mean, I guess he can get away. <laughs> okay. Well, he saved us some chips. Actually, that's bad for me, isn't it? Damn it. Yeah. Oh, man. How did, that happen? That, how did this happen? <laughs> that was like not what I was looking for. And we, so. see, we see Jax open up here. Yeah. He's pretty short, though. I mean, this is, is um, I don't it's know. Not that there, short. Is this, I find people play, at least a lot of people play really straightforward in this spot. Um, I mean, the biggest issue really is the short stack and the big blind, but he can't shove that wide anyway. So I, I, I would think that calling Ace of Insuit is okay there, but like, I'm sure these tournament pros are. I go to this stuff. This guy folded King Jack suit. Wow, maybe I'm, maybe I'm the crazy one. Uh, I would not have folded King Jack seven. King Jack suit there. You have to look at the pay jumps to see. Let's take a look. Okay, so there's nine players left. Got eight, eight now. Left. They're not that big. I mean, I don't know. 
Yes, we got guaranteed know, thirty nine thousand. Maybe I'm just too spicy. Maybe that's my problem. Is I'm too spicy. I just can't like go to sleep at night if I fold king seven suited in the, uh, the early position in that spot. Uh, yes, yeah, see, like that that fold with the jack ten suited is just like I would just hate myself for that. I would just not be able to look myself in the eyes in the mirror. That's what I would do. Um, yeah, I I I, uh, I absolutely I agree with you. I think that that is a hand that we should be opening and we see king jack go ahead and go for a three x here versus a weak ace this is an interesting spot covering and blind on blind with an ace for this stack size so let's see what ace four comes up with here and look at this shows a little what spice the fuck? Back. no Jump, are they short circuiting so... you today are you gonna start maybe we need to see you in the what weekly is going on? super millions this these the, the hands that i'm seeing right now don't make any sense like okay okay first of all uh, well, I think the King Jack suited at least is an open. The Jack 10 suited, personally, to me, I think that would have been kind of sensible to fold just because it's not as, I don't know, he's early position, nine handed, whatever. But this other, this hand that just happened in the blinds was absurd, in my opinion. Uh, so, so, first of all, this dude, Nicholas, should not be raised folding King Jack for 20 blinds. That's not like a thing. And secondly, wow, they, hold on, I don't understand. Pause here. Ace queen suited versus ace nine off. He is all in and behind. Ace queen suited, looking to see, secure a knockout. Although the board pairs, there are some chop outs going to the river. You got this guy, Andres. Wow, it is a king and ace. Uh, ace queen suited is going to play. So that is a absolute knockout there. Nicholas Osta, look at this result: nineteen million. 700,000 on GG, Jungle. If you're not familiar with the man, the myth, number two rank in the Super Millions all time. Absolute oh. crusher, crusher legend. So tell me about I like the missing King something here. Sport. I feel like he misplayed all of those. Well, not maybe not the ace nine, really, but the other hands, or the, the King Jack hand was just like, I would have thought that with the King Jack, he should have done literally some, anything else and not raise full. That, that's it. that to me seems like the worst option. And then like shoving ace nine in that other spot. I mean, I that seems fine. Uh, but that seems like on the same page as like Ray is calling ace king jack suited, king jack off suit in another spot, basically. It just seems weird. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, here. it's if the play is not is full, that's a million percent. We just saw King Queen shove seven snap fold there yeah. for okay. which is yeah, it's probably fairly close, but it is for the turn of life and covered. We do see we are down to already seven-handed. Everyone guaranteed 50000 Hope you're enjoying it at home. Hit that thumbs up if you're having a good time. If you're happy to see Jungle Man joining on stream, Victor is up over a million. He has had an unbelievable run here at the Super Millions in the last, let's call it, two months. I feel like he's literally at every final table. It's really crazy to see. I mean, he won one. I think he's won three total now. Won one recently has has some other deep runs. So he's playing out of his mind. And we got Yao with aces here going to get a defend in a tricky spot for the 9-7 suited on nine deuce deuce here. Aces really should check, I think. Definitely not move all in. Oh, my God. But he's, it's going to work, though. That's the good news. And he's like, I'm just watching my team kill itself. Well, it doesn't make a difference here. Uh, I, I don't know. The aces, the move in was not the move. <laughs> that was definitely not the move, man. Uh, but it's gonna, no, that wasn't the move either. Just doing that was also not the move. I'm not a fan. Veto, veto, veto. Um, yeah, this is crazy. I this is to... such an unconventional line. Can nine seven suited just fold here, or they just think he has ace king? Uh, no, a 9 7 suited cannot fold here. What the? What is going on? Oh my god! No! No! Oh no. Okay, okay, I can't breathe. I literally can't breathe. Um, guys, if you need some oxygen, we need an oxygen timeout at home. Oh, I just closed my video. <laughs> After these, oh man, what just happened? This is like pure insanity. You don't. Know? Uh, that that was not Ace. a real hand that just happened. I, I just like what? <laughs> All right, well, 
We are going to see a chop here. Ace nine suited an ace nine offer a million in the middle. The emojis are dropping. We see the Elky emojis. You guys are in on nothing works for a free roll today. I think we got, we do have a $300 giveaway. I'm going to do either this show or the next. I don't, I don't see our friend in the chat to help with that. I, for today, I, I want to explain something, Jeff. I want to explain something. So this okay. a dirge, this, this dude with 2 million, 200,000 chips, the four shove was like the easiest shove on the planet. Now, yeah. when someone raises a small blind instead of limping, they're either raised folding or they're raised getting it in. Now, so the the ace play doesn't like they're they're either like I don't think people should really be raised folding that much in that spot, frankly. Uh, let's put it that way. I guess the ace isn't that bad to like shove with, but let me tell you, dude, you would far rather shove twenty big blinds with pocket fours than fucking shove. Uh, ace four for 20 big ones when the small line opens into you but you know i could see a reason for doing it that's just purely exploitive just because people just play that spot fucking horribly i guess and just like uh do that way too much um this is uh fine i mean i'm a little bit surprised by that but whatever uh I mean, like, Victor knows all these... Like, I trust Victor in these spots unless he just does, some, just does something that's crazy. Uh, yeah, just like, wow. That 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 nine two two hand was so weird. Maybe this dude, like, a dirge has a read on Yao or, like, what? I thought this Yao guy was a pro, but, like, that aces play was not good, man. The guy even folded a pair of nines. He folded two pair. Oh, my God. That was crazy. That was there, there's been a few hands. I'm honestly like they've just been some unconventional lines going on, which is it's fun. I mean, this is a 10k online tournament on Super Millions Weekly. We see some of the biggest, brightest stars. We also see some some new plays, and that's what's crazy about Poker Jungle. There's certain things that you may think are so wild, they're so off, but they could be just cutting edge and new. And that's why I think poker's fun, right? It's like yeah. you just kind of okay. have to. <laughs> are you not supporting that? You're not supporting it. This guy is gonna live. And uh, some I could see. I, I, I like the queen eight play that this guy made. Uh, I don't think that Arsene should have shoved there with Jax. I think that's a mistake. I think you should definitely limp because there are some limp bold hands there. Uh, I'm not impressed. I am. Uh, I'm like. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna might have to play some more tournaments. I just like. What is what is this? Um. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm sure online is. This is way tougher than no. I don't like this either. Really, uh, man. No. There's some non-jungle approved poker going on. I do want to remind everyone. It's okay, I guess. Is the 50k players championship jungle. Oh, Let's take man. a second before to walk to talk us through how was it to what was the feeling to repeat and you were in costume for the whole tournament. Can you just give me a little bit of like what was going through your head when you started the tournament? You dressed up and you well, just like really did you think that was possible to come and win it again two years in a row? I mean, I thought it was possible, but let me tell you, I did not think I was going to win. I'm, I was hoping, of course. I mean, I thought I was making plenty of money playing it. Uh, I was pretty impressed. Or, excuse me, I thought it was good. Actually, I, I was impressed with the play in the tournament. I saw some pretty good plays. Um, there was one thing, there's a, a thing or two that happened that never has happened to me before. That was pretty wild. Uh, um, let's see. Yeah, it was pretty funny to just come in there and be a Fruit Loop. That that's what gets me off is is I do it for the I do it for the lulls as they say or however they say it. you're not really supposed to say it like in real life but I do it for the lulls I do it for the love of the game and for the spice uh, and you know someone's got to spice things up and it might as well be me you know got a spice and I'll tell you what nothing works for the chat right there two hundred dollar giveaway if he can come back and win it he's got a tall task ahead but nothing works with the double up hanging on there four hundred k. Well done. Queen 10 holds to Jack 10. And I mean, I will say this, this has been some unconventional play in spots where I get, listen, I'm surprised by some of the greats all the time. There's been some plays here that for sure. We're not, you know, not typical plays. We'll say that. So we got a special final table for you jungle today. And and we're going to, okay. uh, you know, take some notes, have fun, sit back, relax, and let's see who's going to get this right. done. Eight, nine well, calls. The good news is because no, what the okay, I guess this guy's not a pro because this isn't a move either. Um, I mean, it's okay, I guess, but like <laughs> that's funny, they shouldn't really be showing those cards. I don't think they're supposed to do that. 
Um, it's okay. It's just suboptimal. You know, it's like you would rather wait for the bed or do whatever. There's a million things you can do that are better. Basically you can do, you have to think of all the possibilities that are optimal before you take the line. Um, uh, there's some kind of population standard things. This guy, Yao is doing, uh, my first it's, it's really easy to pick apart people's leaks when you see the hands. Um, Okay, I think Yao could limp there, but fold seems okay. Like that stuff, I don't know perfectly. Um, all right, nines, yep, fine, whatever. I mean, he could have been raised with the nines. Nines is pretty good. Uh, it's fine. Like, I don't think the 17 that that much. 1,535k. No, so we are going to see a flip here. Actually, I, I think Ace I like Shove more. Yep, Ace like Queen and nine, more. so. He's got to fade the river, needs to hit a jack, queen, or ace, and it is a, wow, there it is, on the river. Shanghai finds the highest Ooh. card in the deck with I an think ace got... fired up with the knockout there. Right. I, I have a feeling I'm going to beat you, Jeff. You think, think you got I me think on my this draft is going to beat you. Yeah, just I've seen how they, these things go down. I know how the, I know the, the uh, humor of the heart of the cards. I know how it works. Uh, <laughs> all right, so spice is gonna happen here. You, your guys are about hello, Toddy's about to lose some chips. All right, well, this is down to six players. All of a sudden, man, things are moving fast. We're guaranteed 64,000 for the remaining players, and we see the Seven, queen eight. six is gonna go ahead Seven, and lead eight. out. Well, he's in position. This check call is a bit surprising by. Hello, Toddy. I would not expect a check call. I'm a little, uh, what? Um, who is Andreas Nausman? Let's get a profile. If we can flash up for Andreas Nausman and the screen. I'm not as familiar uh, with him, but he has got a nice resume here. Okay. Um, yeah, that hand was pretty played really weird by what the fuck? That was such a, that was weird for a couple reasons. Um, I find it strange that this Hello Toddy just kind of play that hand very passively for many reasons, uh, but I'd like to see more. Yeah, this three bet seems much more standard to me than the other three bets, but whatever, they're okay. It's just in my head, I'm thinking this guy's aggressive, and if I'm Victor, I'm sitting here thinking, okay, I'm open less, I'm waiting to show her this guy's three bet with fucking anything, because personally, I hate getting three bet. Uh, and I just really hate getting pushed around. So I'm just like, if someone three bets me, I'm just like looking, I'm just thinking in my head, all right, what are all the things I'm going to do to fuck with them back? Um, yeah, that hand was really weird for a couple reasons. Uh, I hate Andreas's Nosman's overbet on the turn. No, please. No. Uh, there's many reasons why, uh, it's, it's almost suspicious, but you know, whatever. And yeah, he bet 70 on the flop. Okay, cool story. Fine. Um, it's okay. Uh, I would just like to see if he's doing it with all the other hands. That's the big thing that I'm thinking is, is he doing it with all the other hands? Because, because people just, the, the, people just are not consistent is the thing. They're not, um, they they don't behave the same. When you look closely, they just tend not to behave the same with their bluffs and whatever. It's hard to do that. Uh, it's kind of like in life too. People when they're lying and when they are sincere, they're very different people. Uh, um, and you can figure out if they're lying pretty easily if you look closely. You have to see a lot of hands. Our friend just made a nice three bet ace ten off picking up that on oh yeah, yeah. is opening pretty wide notice. so he is on his way and look at this look at these hands uh right. victor gonna be i guess that's okay yeah well victor's probably gonna call. of course he's gonna call um yeah i guess let's see if that plays okay yeah it seems okay 
Well, the good news is there is an ace gone. So this is going to be a tall order for Yao, a seven to 10. So far, so good. After the flop, Jack do six, turn king. So has to fade three aces. As we know, one was already gone. Can he do it? The man can do it, Jungle. That is your guy. All right. Victor up and running. You are officially in it. Everyone loves showing cards here. There's a jack. There's ace eight suited. And there is Yao Poker on his way out with 2.6 million in earnings on GG. Not a lot within the super millions category, but he is going to add to his tally there going out in sixth place. Jungle, we're down to five. We are down to five left, 82,000 locked up. And there the boys are playing. I mean, this is the thing is though, it's going to be get it's pretty deep. All of a sudden it's going to be with the as we get down here. So it's gone fast, but the stacks are very deep. So going to be some poker, some post flop playing. Okay, I'm up. really curious to see what happens. Um, so I have Shanghai, right? You do. Okay, I think I do. Yes. I'm really curious to see some of these plays. I think there's going to be some spice balls coming up. There's just yeah, a high chance of spice with the deep going on, and these guys are not exactly playing. They're not exactly playing uh, uh, what looks to be very, how do you say, very, like, very, uh, very balanced, I guess you could say. Very balanced. All right, you know what I'm going to do, guys? You guys are sleeping at home. We got a 1,000 watching. 39 of you only have hit the thumbs up. I'm going to re-put you guys in for a $100 free roll if we can get to 200 thumbs up. Guys, get excited out here. We got Jungle Man in the flesh. We are already down to five. Playing for 220000 Hit that thumbs up. We'll do a $100 giveaway if Shanghai can come back and win. I'm going to keep spicing it up as we get it going, Jungle. I think I think Shanghai, he's he's got a he's got a, this is an important pot. He's got some chips in the middle. He's well, got trip tens. That's and, bad news for you, I think. I, um, I don't I don't really know where this and I don't really I'm not in love with this Andreas this guy's turn bet. Hmm. Maybe it's okay. I don't know. <laughs> Says Wack. Well, the, the Shanghai is up to 1.2 million and chips are flying around right now. So we got Ace Jack suited in the small blind. Let's see how it goes. It looks like that makes a lot of sense. And what about defending the big blind? Let's talk about that spot. Seven, nine off. That's I feel actually like this a good is spot, a spot to ask. I think players. you can. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead, Jeff. No, I was just saying for the big blind, I think this is a very interesting spot. What kind of hands you want to be defending when you're third and closing to action? What are you kind of what are the factors you're looking for there when you're closing action in the big blind multiway? Um, so this is actually is an important spot. It's important to know the sizes and the ICM when you're the short. I can see why I think nine seven off is quite close in a cash game you could certainly call with those stack sizes with the antis and all that. Uh in this spot in a tournament I like hold just because of the ICM is quite heavy right now with five players left. Uh, but the biggest considerations you have to think about is how your hand plays multi-way with the other guys. So hands like suited hands that are connected actually go up in value in the spot and connected hands in general. Um, bigger hands would go down in value, like King 10 off, uh, or that hands that are dominated and things like that, and Ace X off, but the, the size is really cheap, so you may be able to get away with defending for the size, particularly if it's not deep in the tournament. I mean, fold is probably the right play uh, with five left, with like Ace 2 off type hands that uh, that blow to play. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, that I don't know 100%. And, and uh, I wouldn't, like, fault too much for calling those things. Uh, it's also really hard for other people to play optimally. I'm not 100% sure how that affects things. But the guy with the most ships should tend to be leaning, be leaning towards the aggressive side. Okay, this play is kind of reasonable by, by Andreas. Um, the lead by Arsene is okay, but also a little funny, um, by, with the Jack seven, it's not really the standard play. It's okay. It's standard ish. It's just weird that the guy who's in like, remember he was in the small blind and the other guy was in the big blind and he had that 10, nine off on queen Jack six. 
Like it's hard to have a good hand there. And he does have a good hand. He's got, he's got open-ended and now he wants to lead fucking top pair into an early position razor. Um, yeah. Now he wants to lead top pair into an early position razor in, in a spot where he, he's more vulnerable. It's like, what? Like why? Um, it doesn't really, there's not that much value in that spot. Let's put it that way. Uh, I want to look a little bit more closely as w- what Hello Toddy's doing. It's just a strange thing. This is a really bad situation for Andreas. He's going to lose some money. He's going to lose at yeah, least this... money. He's going to bet probably. Go go ahead. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's he goes for the quarter block and he's going to hear from Victor here. It'll be interesting. Oh yeah, he's going to hear from he goes with like three hundred k, maybe three three twenty five. I think he's going to go big. Very big. I mean, he's got what a river card for him here. He's got to believe he is going to maybe get paid. Let's see what sizing would you go with here, Jungle? Uh, I would go big. I would yeah. go bigger. Yeah, snap call. Yeah, man, bigger would have worked for sure on that particular river. So nice pick up there for Victor, who is up to 2.2 million and looking dangerous as ever. You picked him when he was low stacked, and he is not disappointing, Jungle. He is on his way with 2.1 oh, million. Well, this is this is the value of picking the, the underdogs, right? There's no value in picking like the guy who's obviously gonna win. <laughs> you want to pick the guys who you don't know are gonna win because that's where all the value is. Fair enough, Jungle. You might punish me here. This would this would definitely hurt. But I'll tell you who is in the running. It's Shanghai, who has got some chips all of a sudden, 1.4 million. They're getting deeper, Jungle. We might see some post-flop maneuvering. The blinds are only at 35,000. So. We're already down to five. And we are oh. going to see some fireworks here uh, in the next coming hands. I feel like it's just time, man. We're due for a big cooler. We've been, we've been seeing a few knockouts. I think we're due for a big cooler. How, how are you liking this? start to the play there's been some unconventional things jungle what are your thoughts so far uh, i'm not a huge fan of what i've been seeing but yeah not a fan not a fan um i, I want to comment on 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 what owned papa said the jack versus early position the two pair was a lead on the turn yes but what i'm saying is it's strange to not lead the the open-ended small blind versus big blind, because in that spot, small blind versus big blind, you have all kinds of hands. And it's very hard, actually, to have something good. And he finally had something good, and now he checks it. He check calls in and check calls in on the turn. That being said, Andreas overbet the turn in position, making it very hard for uh, Arsene to really make a move. Um, so maybe that's why he check folded. Maybe he was planning on like check raising it or something, um, which would have been... I mean, it's probably good. Uh, It's very unusual. I would say it's most likely good. Yeah, and if you guys don't want to take my advice, uh, good for you. Nice bet here. Nine five off has one of the worst hands he can have, and he goes for it. What was the action here? It was like bet bet uh, with the jack jack five, I guess, and then the the. Nine five. Was it just bet once or bet twice? I think I believe it was bet twice. I, have to, I, I, I was checking on the chat here on the side, so I didn't see. But my man followed through Shanghai at one point five million. So nice play there. Very nice. Yep. Like whatever it was, it was probably fine at least or good. Yeah, and our Arseni here with the ace ten offs two seven, so no player in love with it. Sevens though does have a pair. We know how hard that is to make in no limit hold'em, so we do see this quarter bet size here. And Arseni with a bit of a decision because ace ten kind of in no man's land. You're out of position. You could have the best hand, and he does go ahead and give it up there. Are you surprised to see a not peel, or is just too dicey of a board to be continuing? Um. Okay. So the sevens. Play is okay. I don't really like it that much. I, I can see what he's thinking, but I don't like it that much. But it's okay. And the ace 10 is fine. I think that's actually a good check hold. Makes sense. All right. Seven, eight off. King four suited. We see king high here. Based on how this player's been playing, we expect a quarter pot, like a smallish bet, and going to deny equity a hand such as this. And you, you could argue, oh, I just have king high. Maybe it's good, but he does take it down, and he has shown yep. a propensity to see bet. So, a, he does like I'm not going to see bet a lot. 
I'm yeah, not sure. going to pronounce that last name. That's a tough name. So we'll just call him Ader, A-D-E-R. In the building, All we've right, got Ader, Ace, Ader, and we got Arseni with the weak ace here. Out of position versus a player, Andreas, who's been pretty active, does go with the limp. Would expect him to be limping a lot. And on this floor, this flop, 10-7, Queen, no player making a pair. It's hard to make a pair jungle. What what do you what do you think about that? Is that fair? Uh, uh yeah, kind of. Uh, in ring, it's more like mm, I wouldn't get too married to pairs. By the way, if I knew that someone was doing the sevens play as Eric Durs was do, I would go for the check raise a lot more on those sorts of boards instead of like I would just take hands that would other normally be C bet and I would check raise with them instead. Uh, a decent amount. I mean, there are some exceptions, but uh, that would be what I'd be thinking if I could see that. Yeah, we have uh, we have got a nine high bet on the turn. A six off going to fold. So nice, nicely done with the air balls. One of the worst hands going to have nine high and decides to bet. We see the blinds go up 20K, 40K. Pocket eights in the big blind. Andrea has been pretty active, likely going to be Continuing here, let's see if he goes with the limp or a raise, likely limping, although they're pretty deep. They're pretty deep. So let's see if two eights kicks it up here. You didn't notice um, Arsenio's fold was like ace four. And I've seen a lot of like crazy stuff that's been close that, that is unconventional. So I've been, uh, it's been hard to follow everything, Jungle, but this is definitely yeah. not textbook play. King Queen Suit definitely going to be an open though. Likely going to see just a defend here as we go. Ace eight suited. They have a relatively similar stack and pretty interesting flop. King queen suited has two overs in position. Can definitely bet small here. He does just that and not flush drawn and over here for Shanghai. Let's see if he plays it flat, fast or slow. Definitely ICM implications. Does just call, makes the nuts uh -oh. and what a card. What a uh -oh. card for Shanghai. Uh oh. Wow. The audience got the 200 likes to be in on the giveaway. Your man is looking good. We are at 161 likes, and he has got the stone oh, okay. cold nuts on could the river. Worse. It could actually be worse for him if uh, Shanghai goes for a check raise. I would like a check raise, actually, in this guy's shoes for a couple of reasons. Um, well, now that you see the guy as a queen that he checked back with, yeah, I really like it. I uh, that's, a, that's fine. Why not? Usually people do have something that they'd like to bet, though. So that's why I go for a check raise. Um, I do think there's a really high chance of a bet if Shanghai checks there. Uh, but okay, I mean, like, whatever. Bet. I, I prefer right, probably what else, but whatever. We got King 10, the taxi cap limping in. Victor at the top of his range here. Ace Queen suited, certainly going to pump it up. 140 plus. There it is. We got Shanghai, though, with like a, a modest hand, you know, beating all the bluffs. Can't imagine not going to play, although it is uncomfortable. They are, they're deep, though. Goes with the call. Has a heart. Neither player making a pair. Six, seven, three, two hearts. And Victor going to have a decision here. Does he want to keep control of the hand or check? He does check. 300K in the middle. And Shanghai now with hot One pair. King. Going to see Jungle step away. Goes for a check again. Let's see what Ace-Queen suited is going to do. Likely be checking. Five comes on the river. There is a four-liner here. Six, seven, three, ten. Hearts miss. And we see Wick Victor going to check back. King-10 going to get the pot. And your guy, Shanghai, up over two mil. 200 likes. And you guys are officially activated for the giveaway free roll. $100 cash. I will be giving. We're at 176. Man, I appreciate everyone being in here. Having fun. Look at this cooler. Tens to Kings jungle blind on blind. They are oh, pretty deep, but is there Come any on. path away? This could be no. the writing on the wall. Is there a way? Does Arseni ever slow play here? I can't imagine. And uh, this is just, these are big hands, five handed blind on blind. No, there's nothing. They're running it. Is this just getting in for 50? Or it's even less effective, right? Because he's got 1.2 million. Yeah, I mean, this is 
We're talking about They're a trivial really game. And then all day, all night. I mean, he might, like, Victor might slow play, I guess, but no one really does that. Tens. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Snap call, kings to tens. Victor could have his first adversity here. 90% favor needs to fade a possible chop on the river jungle. We're not going to miss it for a second time today, but it can't be a diamond. It would be a six or an ace, and it is a ooh, ooh, deuce yeah. pairs <laughs> up in. Arseni going to send himself into essentially the chip lead. I mean, there's four big stacks, and now Victor is on 800,000. So it is going to be a tough battle for my friend there. Victor is on the short stack. Pretty big cooler there. Ace-8 suited and ace-king. Got to imagine Shanghai will be playing for more. He does 3x to open. What sizing do you like in these spots when you're deep? And, you know, five-handed, we see a min-raise. Do you like the 3x? Do you, do you bury it a bit because they're so deep? Would you maybe go bigger? Or do you like this 3x? No, I think you should bank it bigger. I think he should because he's not he's not really supposed to raise that much. And, um, yeah, he's supposed to basically polarize a bit with, in that spot. Is the short answer. I, you know, people don't want to have me sit and think deeply about the technical reasons for making it 3x and not the uh, not smaller, but basically he just wants to keep his range strong and you know, as such, raise bigger. Makes makes perfect sense. So we see nine five suited gonna go ahead and take it down. Aggression rewarded. We got Victor now all of a sudden. On the short stack, going to fold, and we see deuces open it up, take it down. Shanghai not going to defend there, and we are down to five. Everyone guaranteed 82,000. This has been a relatively quick start. Of course, the stack's consolidate, so now we're deeper. Hope you guys are enjoying here. You are in on a free roll for 100 if Shanghai can come back and win. We need to get to 200 likes. I know there's a 1,000 plus on, so I know we're going to get that easily, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate Jungle coming on as the guest today. And we are seeing some – is this making you want to play more tournament poker? You haven't been super approving with a lot of the plays. It does, but um... – I don't really, I still don't really like tournaments. And also, mm, I mean, I want to do other things. Uh, if I can, if I have a chance, I'll play tournaments. Like, I, I wouldn't like turn down the right 10K. Like, I'm sure those are fine. There's like some ICM stuff that's a bit unusual, such as, for example, I, I think that Hello Toddy's fold with that weak ace makes a lot of sense in a lot of situations. I think. Stuff like that goes underappreciated in these things because uh, that's interesting. Okay. I mean, I can see it. Um, wow. Damn it. Wow. <sighs> well, that is going to be an elimination. The nut flush comes in on the turn, and there he is. A look at. Victor, 9.5 million in GG Poker winnings, an absolute sick record in the Super Millions, just an unbelievable amount of final tables and runs, but he will bow out. And we are, it's you right, it's, uh, it's for my other guys. It's actually no. fairly even. It's fairly even in the chips. We got 4 million versus 6 million, so it's not over. But look at this, Jungle. Just as I was saying that, you get another cold deck here, Kings and Jacks going up and wow is there any way oh, four-handed i mean this is just no some coolers going on i well, this guy's done all sorts of things so you never know he might not be out here uh and he could he could obviously win the all in i mean he's supposed to go for it for sure especially well the njs guys threw it once before but i mean a million reasons he's got the jacks yeah, so Arsene going to have an, an easy fold just playing around there, ran into some real hands, but the two kings is going to surf it in, and we are going to almost certainly see the snap call running cold. He knows it. He feels it, and it's a four million chip pot underway here. Kings to jacks. Clean yeah. flop for Kings. Needs some real help. He's going to need a jack or jack only, or jungle man is going to be one player away from getting a – Big dinner tab, and look at that. That is a good game around. Down to three, just like that. 135,000 locked up. A dirt pill sky, if I'm going to go for that, we'll go for it one time there. Getting a six-figure payday, 105,000. Congrats to you, my friend. Great showing. Three left. Jungle. We are on record 
record speed right now. I mean, this is really moving, but there's a lot of chips between these three guys. So let's see what's happening here. And King Six Off going to take a stab. Jack Nine Sudo would like to think it's not going anywhere. It's got mid pair. Going to call. Pretty good turn, right? No spade, no overcard to the nine. Yeah. And see if Arseni slows down here. Probably. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a card to really shell. And Jack Nine Suited going to feel good that the turn check, but has a winner if he can get to showdown, does check. And Arseni actually does beat some spades and it doesn't really seem probably like a huge reason to bluff here at the same time. Maybe thinking he could put some pressure on a deuce or a nine, but let's see. He, we saw that over bet early from Arseni, but not going to go for it here. I think it makes sense. And Shanghai will pick up that pot. Yeah, it would be a really weird spot for this guy to go for the overbet. He might think he can win with his king high sometimes. And um, he also blocks king highs that can fold. He could chop with king highs. Sh Shanghai, he's in there, in there to win it. I mean, he's third of three right now but guaranteed 135,000 that's your that's your horse today guys for a hundred dollars and you know what we already over 200 likes if we get it up to to 300 i'm going to kick it up for an extra 100 out of my pocket if, if he can come back and win we're at 200 likes on, you're gonna already. throw more money into up. the pot is that I'm what i heard throw it on. i like giving it away jungle i know you're abundance i'm abundance we're gonna keep oh, it rolling man. i got 300 giveaways still to do for oh, you guys no. but i think we're gonna have to pick it next week because i do not see our friend the moderator my main man, sausage in the building. But I, I listen, it's 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 on the table. You guys are on with the legend jungle man back to back players championship 50k world series of poker bracelet winner extravaganza jungle man. I'm so I'm so happy you got that done. That was uh that was impressive, yeah. man. Winning back to back is so special, and you did it in costume and uniform. Congrats again. Thank you. I can't say it enough. Very, Thank very you. Impressive. Then costume is the only way to go. <laughs> Yeah, if you didn't vlog it or do it in costume, I don't know if it even if it counts. So that's you, you you tick the boxes and we got Andres going for a light bet here with the Jack Eight. Oh, I guess he is consistent. What? Ah, these guys, man. Come on. No heart. Ah. You want to see him battle there, huh? You want to see him go for that's it. It's a weird fold. Like he's not supposed to fold there. Well, he could, Andres is, maybe he's, he's thinking he doesn't want to mess with the big stack. Yeah, maybe better spots. Also, Shanghai just figures, you know, he's he's shorter. There is a $38,000 pay jump, guys. We get to 400 you get an extra 100 Although, Shanghai's got his work cut out. I think he's still a pretty big underdog. We'll kick it up 100 if we get to 400 You guys are absolutely legends in the chat. Some familiar faces, some big names here at this final table we have lost several of those we see some great players here too and queens to jack nine this could be trouble for our hero jungle with top pair three-handed as a short stack yeah so let's just call it's a card that is going to potentially save him some chips either from the perspective that Arsene is still likely going to be valuing here. I mean, there's a lot of draws. Can't just give your opponent the king. So we do see him go ahead and bet. And this is going to be tough to get rid of the jack here in this spot. Mm -hmm. I don't see how he could do it just yet. Yeah, not on the turn. On quite some rivers, though. Yep. So let's see what he goes with here. He has got the wheels spinning. It's a big, decent-sized bet going over... Uh, looks like what he went well over 50% pot. And look at that jungle, a little, maybe spidey senses. I know that's not GTO, but Shanghai has showed us a few different gears and he is going to save some chips there as he was in a big disadvantage going to the river. So well done Shanghai. And we have got three handed poker on the podium already. I mean, we're not even an hour in and we're three handed. So this has definitely gone very quickly. Let's see what we got from our friend Andres here with the Jack five offers King six. So King six does flop a pair goes for a small bet. Jack five can't be too interested. Does have some backdoor heart and straight draws. It is blind on blind. He's got the chip stack. Let's see if he peels one. Well, he should definitely peel here uh, without anything else mattering. Yep. Everything so far is pretty normal.
Yeah, so no equity has come in. It would be a no equity bluff here if Andres does decide to bet after getting checked to. We definitely you know, could see how that would be reasonable considering he's got absolutely nothing and maybe his opponent was just taking a stab. But with the six, can't see any other play but check call here. Yeah, anything but check call is strange. And we do see the call eventually. Seven on the river, jack five, absolutely nothing. Going to go ahead and, I mean, does have a does have a relevant card with the five. I mean, it could, could complete some straights, but just decides that he is done with it. So King Six going to pick that up, up to 3.6 million. We got 2 million, 3.6 million, 4.4 million, and we are playing to a winner today. Season two, episode 49. I'm Jeff Gross, joined by Jungle Man Dan Cates, Daniel Cates in the building. And we are going to see a winner soon. So we see the 3 4 suited open, and we see a uh, we see we see a multi way pot here. Eights, Queen Eight suited, and 3 4 suited, 3 4 suited, deciding to take a quarter bet size. Okay, so three, four suited does pick up some equity. Actually, a lot of equity, right? It's got the double gutter. That's one of the better cards. Yeah, yeah, that's, one of, that's a great card. That's a really good card. Um, Jeff, how much are you uh, losing hosting this show? They said you're, you must have given away $20,000. 20,000. No, not that much, but you know, I had a good gig here. I'll say that I'm very happy where I am. I love the show. I love people. I love giveaways. So it's all just kind of, kind of fun to give. And, and listen, like there's still, this isn't an automatic giveaway. Shanghai has got a wind jungle. I mean, I'm counting on a dinner. Where are we going to go? Well, let's yeah. pick a spot. We, we, we got it. I mean, you want to, what kind is of it Vegas? Let's... It'll be tough. I mean, look, there's no, also we... something, huh? It doesn't have to be Vegas. We can go international jungle. Maybe. Oh, I didn't mention that. This is for a flight. This is flight to a dinner anywhere in the world. This is a serious dinner. Oh, look at an this. International flight. He uh, finds the gutter jungle. I think uh, Andreas is going to fold, though. I think uh, Andreas has a million aces that he can defend with, and he's just going to think this other dude's not bluffing him, and looks like he's got an ace. And all you know, all those sorts of reasons. Yeah, he did find a way away. And Shanghai finds himself in a good spot with top pair on the board. Has that monotone flop, King Seven, Five, Three Diamonds. Shanghai is certainly going to be liking his position. Now, the fourth diamond changes things, although on our Senny does have some showdown. So, I mean, he has got a check back hand there. And Shanghai now with a Scary card, likely going to go check, check. There it is, 193,000 going to Shanghai's way. And he is fighting at 2 million. It's not, a, this thing is not over yet. Not even close to over. Who out of these players, who impressed you the most so far, this remaining three today, Jungle? Uh, I would say this Hello Toddy guy. Did it pop up that it's Hello Toddy, or did you just know that's his name? I didn't know. It, that. That's what the people in chat say. Okay. I guess everyone has to use the real names. Or no, they don't. There's, there's this yeah. guy with Shanghai. That's his name. And I don't think that I use my real name on this. Yeah, that's that's true. We've got 1,200 viewers watching, 238 thumbs up right now, guys. You are in on a possible giveaway if Shanghai can come back and win. He is in a... Tough spot, but he's still in there. Two million chips, four million, and four million. So he's basically fifty percent of the two other stacks. King seven high, going to be good, and it is three handed all of a sudden. It's three handed. Three handed in the building right now. We have got a special one, another one. It's a season two, episode 49 in the building, guys. I'm excited. I'm excited Jungle's here. And Jungle, where are you? Uh, where are you heading after Vegas? Um, I'll go to LA briefly, and then I'm going to go what it looks like I'm going to go to Europe. Uh, if not, I'll probably go to either New York or Miami. 
Very nice. So we see a river ace here all of a sudden jump jump in. And I got my friend Miri in the Miri Albania in the chat asking if I enjoyed Albania. I did. It was beautiful. It was fun. And we had an amazing time. I got to see that that final of the Europe uh, Conference final. Rome took down Feyenoord, and that's my squad. So I went to the Albania jungle. Have you been to Albania ever? It's not it's not necessarily a tourist destination. Um, I have not been to Albania, but I'm curious. I've been to some countries nearby. Arseni did a strange thing where he bet very very big with an ace. Uh, I'm not a fan of that play. I can do a lot of other things. It's strange play. Um, yeah, I guess he really likes to get people off the uh, chops or thinks people have top pair ace ace x a lot. All right, we got Jack five suited seven four seven four. Going to put a bet out there. Some protection does pick up the pot, and our Senny now the ship leader all of a sudden looking good. Oh, I'm in big trouble here. It's eight eight million ships versus two million. We've got this thing going on. Oh, just what you say that Kings versus Ace Eight, so a favorable spot for Shanghai. Let's see what he's going to go with here. Does he ever have a trap? Nope, just rips it in. That's just a full mm -hmm. Chipotle. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about this. Not play. signing off on that play, but it is I'm not signing off. A I don't approve. Ace, <laughs> ace Queen to Ace Jack here. This could get a little spicy, although they are the one and two stacks. And look at this. What the? This could get this so interesting. Weird. Yeah, he's probably not going to shove. This is um, <laughs> decides to spice it up here of all the spots. Um, why not? You know, you got to keep it spicy every once in a while. <laughs> I guess this uh, I, this is makes my chances better or worse. I mean, there's going to be a call, and then maybe there's a, a check check, and then maybe there's an ace on the river. I don't know. Well, 1.8 million. This is a critical pot, biggest pot uh, that we've seen other than all ins. I mean, this is a, it's a lot of chips in the middle. Ace Queen has a decision here. Does it just go for it? To, I mean, he's got to figure he's got the best hand. There's some bluffs. And then he also just doesn't know, you know, doesn't want to get blown off. And, and I think check back or bet small makes sense. And he does go for the quarter, about around a quarter pot size bet. And we see a call. So Ace Queen is the best hand. 2.8 million on the river. A snap check from Ace Jack off. Does well, have the think, Ace of Spades. I think now he might bluff, but I don't know. I don't think I really liked the turn bet, if I'm honest. I mean, like, what is he going to check? He's checking, like, betting Ace Queen. Uh but whatever, man. He's got the ace of spades, so now he's got the bluff catcher, and and you know he's probably going to jam it in. It's like better for that reason. Uh, I, I presume he's going to bluff. Like, how is this not the spot to bluff? But who knows? You never know, man. You never know. Um, I don't. Yeah, I don't really like the turn bet. I mean, come on. Uh, like, definitely the machines won't like it. The, there'll be some. Uh, some what what is it some uh some 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 gears being grinded let's put it that way i mean i think ace queen is thinking there's not too many hands as played that that andres beats so now it's a matter of with that key card well in that case he's got a bluff i mean he beats ace jack so he could be right. like yeah like some things like that I'm a little surprised there's any field, but not that surprised. Uh, yeah, the machine elves don't like it, wherever they are. The machine anything does not like the, the ace queen. Maybe like the relentlessly aggressive machines like it, if there are such things. Is this guy not going to show? I think he is. He's time banking. He was like, why'd I do this? Now I've got a bluff. <laughs> Maybe that's what he's thinking. It's like, uh, well, here we are with the ace queen. Uh, I wish I didn't bet the turn. Now I've got a goal. In. Wow, he's taking a long time here. But, I mean, the good news is he's got a winner for him. Either way, whatever Jack. happens. But I think he's thinking like, what... He's There's thinking, not, yeah, it's really wow, not many hands he beats, but oh, he is man. gonna be very happy. 
Very happy to see that. All right. All right. You know what? Enough's enough. I can't breathe. I'm going to have to play some tournaments. Uh, Jungle's yes. officially in. Jungle might be in the mix, guys. Uh, so right, ask what happens to my room. I just can't. Uh, it, the thing is, the good thing about that play is that no one is really check raising the turn on the eight four four two. It's very rare play to have it happen, so you can get away with betting very small. But but the other thing is, if you're not going to bluff that card, and you're mostly going to get called when you're behind, you're making a mistake. Yeah. Well, so much for my money, and I, I believe I'm going to owe you dinner. Most of the time. Uh, Maybe it's well, time for the jungle to play some tournaments. Maybe that's jungle maybe that's is jungle, jungle's motivated. I tell you, man, this is a this is a this is a special tournament. I mean, it's 10k. This is one of the lower payouts, and it's 220,000 at first. And it is weekly. So Sunday you can play. There's satellites available. And you are able to play the final table then on Tuesday as we see this now weekly. So this is the episode of 49 of season two. So this is, uh, this is a runaway situation right now for Andreas with the almost 6 million chips. Pretty big favorite. But as we know, Jungle Man, it can happen quickly. No guarantee. Shanghai is the people's champ. You guys need him if you want to win a $200. The, the player people. of the people, guys. You need the player of the people to stand up and get some some run good from the poker gods. 262. You guys need to get to 400 for a $200 giveaway. You got if you if he wins, you got 100 right now, Jungle. We got to, I mean, there's 1,200 people on only 262 at the thumbs up. Have you even hit the thumbs up on YouTube, Jungle? How can we ask them to hit the thumbs up on YouTube if you haven't hit it? Have you done that? Are you watching the chat on the side? Uh, I'm seeing the chat on the side. Are you saying that I need to log into YouTube and click subscribe? Oh. Is that what you're saying? No, you don't need not subscribe. You need to hit the thumbs up button to to How like this stream. How do I do right. that? I'm on... Do it afterward, Jungle. Just focus on the okay. commentary. I don't want you to short circuit because you're missing some. <laughs> you're missing some big plays here. We got King Four suited. Hits the river card with the straight six sixty three in the middle. Goes for a big bet. Ace two suited actually does beat some hands here. There's some Broadway. There's I some hearts that miss. I do things like this, so I can't even like judge so much. Um, this play is okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's a little big. I'm sure the machine would bet smaller. The machine likes to be precise with its bet sizes. Six eight off, king five off. Likely going to see the limps coming here with these stacked up. Shanghai is dangerously short. There is a thirty eight thousand dollar pay jump between third so, and second. I think it's important to note that this is the situation where ICM matters the most, or like a high bubble, because there's a really big pay jump and um, Shanghai is quite short. So, like in this situation, perhaps Arseni should have just folded, uh, and also now Arseni should be playing a lot less splashy oh yeah the one play with the ace jack was just not the move for sure um i, I would just think that ace jack is probably not three bet a lot too much and that's funny he really does not want to play big pots uh with andreas like he's probably got to change all of his ranges in a spot like this is my guess and this is fine um i i forget if shanghai this oh shanghai is a little deeper so it's less crazy so maybe it's fine. Jungle, what are the chances you're going to the MPP in Cyprus in September? That is something on our calendar. Maybe we'll have a nice dinner in a foreign country there at the at the Merit. Are you? Is that on your radar? Oh uh, yeah, that's on my radar. Um, it's in September. Yeah, it's like end of August till September fifteenth, I believe, or September sixteenth. Yeah, it appears I'm going to be going to Europe again. So if that's the case, there's a really good chance I'll go to Cyprus. Very nice.
Yeah, there's going to be some high stakes tournaments over there. I think schedule getting confirmed. All right, we see the eight shown. Andres up to 5.5 million, 3.2 million. Ace 10 suited. A couple of real decent hands. You see the ace deuce off fold. And now our Senny, though, with, as you mentioned, some considerations, does just call, does get out flop, but has enough flush draw. Two overs to the seven, one over to the jack. And there is the nuts on the turn. We do see the check back from Andres. And I like the check here from our Senny. Scott is calling me out. He's saying I'm not going to settle it. Smart. You got to hold me to that, Jeff. Got to make sure I pay out my uh, two hundred dollars. Well, well, it'll be a nice dinner, that's for sure. Uh, we are going to see the Ace Ten suited. Look at this. Doesn't get any more chips. Made the nuts, and it is a pot going in the direction of the second place stack, but not enough to sway the chip leader has got 5.5 million and our friend shanghai we got to be careful he's getting pretty short jungle he's gotta he's gotta stay active here he's falling behind the curve of course he wants to pay jump but he's gonna have to probably stick him stick himself in at some point 30 60 k blind so he's down to about 20 big blinds all right we see the 933 rainbow flop good good board for andreas to go ahead and bet now of course our center gonna believe ace high is good here enough and for that sizing, does stick on. Turn is an eight, brings it back to a flush draw. No player with the spade. Um, Let's see I, if. Go ahead. No, I, I, I was going to say. Curious if Andreas is going to is going to keep this story going. Uh, so a couple of things. I believe Ace High should fold on the flop. And second thing is, I believe Andreas should not keep the story going on this turn. That's my uh, humble opinion. So you, we're zero for two. On the jungle theory, they're playing different styles. <laughs> we are. And Ace Four is really thinking, but this is the problem. You can't really hold on there. He's gonna have to hold on for a massive bet, and the Shanghai is so low. It's like one of those I know you know situations, but it doesn't matter. Andreas following through. Shanghai King Nine Suitacles for the Min Rays has the hearts dominated. If they were to come, King Nine Suited Queen Three Suit. Let's see if he can. What he does here, if he follows up or checks, 292 in the middle, probably goes for a smallish bet, does go for a one-third size. And look at this, Andreas putting a little spice there. This is spice, yeah. This is, um this this hand looks like a disaster from my point of view, but okay. I mean, also the other hand, uh, from my point of view, looked like I was wildly wrong. I'm like tempted to hit the Sims just to uh see if I'm <laughs> if I'm right. Because I would have played a lot of these hands very differently. We see the call. The, the call. So he gets check raised and then a lead oh, here. Oh, he's spicing it up big time here. He's spi he, This is some spice. This that was spicy. That was spicy. The, the, a jam on the turn would have been really gangster. Okay, so from this point, Arsene should not mess around too much. Well, I mean, now he should, but otherwise he shouldn't. He does not want to mess around with Andreas too much. Oh, sevens to ace king. Huge spot. Could we be heads up or are we going to see the double? Wow. He needs runner, runner, 98%. The people's champ is in it with 1.8 million quads. The man the people's can do champ. it, guys. Quads, boom, <laughs> sevens with authority on the river. 1.8 million still in it. He's dropping <laughs> the running hot emoji. We are ready to go. No, he's we are ready. Oh, he's, he's going for it. He is going he's, for it, but not going to get a customer here. Arseni tanking, maybe just trying to wipe that flip off. Um, I don't know what he's, what he's, what's going on. Yep. All right. So he folds, and we are up to two million for Shanghai. Shows the three deuce. Basically, the best hand and the worst hand of the game shown there. And we are going to play some three-handed poker still, ladies and gentlemen. Plenty of time for you to hit that heart. If we get to four hundred thumbs up, it will be a two hundred dollar possible giveaway. But right now, it's a hundred, no matter what. If Shanghai were to win, but what's his odds, Jungle? What do you think his odds are with these chip stacks and his ability? Where do you rate him? What are the odds for Shanghai to win? Well, listen, okay, like there's the math, and then there's the heart of the uh, of the people's champ, and all that implies. So, because he's the people's champ, I think it's about 
You're feeling a 50 50. Feeling 50 okay. 50, yeah. It can go either way. Either they're going to win or it's not. Yeah, that's one way to look at it. 50 50. Um, I think you're highly undervaluing the the importance of being the people's champ, Jeff. I feel like I feel like you need some uh, how do you say faith. I know, I know. I, I must have just blown your mind right there. Sorry, it's just good. yeah, you, Jungle, you blow my mind constantly. But in, in this way, I think the fifty-fifty. I don't know if I can, if that's, if I can get behind that. That is, that seems like a stretch. But here we see King Queen. What about this bet? Four to a straight and a flush, and he is going to go for the bet here and make the boat. Oh man, I'm laughing also because this guy just made a boat in the spot. He made, excuse me, he made a boat in the spot for people who can't hear. Uh, this is a great spot to have a boat in. Oh, well, the other guy's going to fold, but whatever. Wow. Maybe he jams, yeah, I guess. Uh, Sight is a thing. <laughs> wow. He, there's a small chance he goes all in. I mean, if he's really a gangster, that would be like the, the play of the century. No, no, it's 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 really crazy. Okay, blinds are at 30k, 60k. Again, playing to a winner tonight. Andreas has kind of got that dream spot jungle where he's got both stacks even and he can really start putting some pressure on. A6 off here. This is not so fun when you know you probably have the best hand, but there's huge ICM. What do you like here from Shanghai? Uh, call. Uh, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. It would really be good to be in Andreas' shoes at the right of the second. But as we know, poker is not about has how people things seem i mean i would have called but okay fine fold sure so you know okay. that we played we played uh, an alpha eight in africa that was the biggest blunder of my poker career in a fort for that 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 uh, eights to ace eight suit and you took down that tournament do you remember that hand do you remember I that do. jason mercier in the local that one hurt that one hurt. yeah i mean she, i Speaking mean i don't ICS. know I, I don't know how much of a mistake it was uh Okay, I don't. I would. I mean, whatever this hand is, whatever. I would. It's it's a mistake, sure. Like, um, it happens. It happens. It definitely I went for happens. it. You had a hand, and all I had to do was click fold. And Mercy would have busted that hand in the bubble. Instead, it was me, and you got me. But that was well, uh, that was yeah. If it's any consolation, it I mean, just that Mercy are bubbled is like kind of a negative way to look at it. It's more just, um, it's more that Mercier had like a probability of busting. I mean, you, you lost less than that for sure. Like it wasn't just, uh, yeah. yeah, it's, it's more like the chances that'll bust. You have to think about it in terms of probabilities and things like that. There's a number assigned to it. It's not like you lost like a hundred thousand or whatever on that hand or anything. Right. So that should make you feel a little better. This, <laughs> this hand is, this hand is, uh, all right. You know, why not, man? Why not? This is, I will say, this has been as there's been some specially amazing play in some of these two millions. This has been some uncharacteristic special play today. I appreciate you guys joining in. We do have Dan Jungle Man in the building. We are three handed playing for a super million season two, episode 49 title. I'm Jeff Gross. We're having fun today, Jungle. We're here. Appreciate you coming on, doing the doing the commentary. Jungle, you have a podcast. I've been on your podcast, you've been on my podcast. I got to give your podcast a plug, man. I saw you had Ninja on as a guest. I saw you've had some other major guests going on. How are you enjoying the podcast experience and where can people find your podcast? Uh, they'll have to, they can find it. It's called winning the game of life. Uh, right now I'm focusing on poker players. Well, excuse me, people who play poker, but also doing other things in addition to poker or yeah, have some yeah. kind or the other way are people who are doing other things and they've got like some kind of life in poker. But the idea is how do we, um how do we use our skills to better ourselves or how do we find a way to better ourselves and also better the world as well very cool yeah it's awesome so guys go ahead and give that a search follow along and i am i believe i was episode number two one or two no two or three something i'm on there we had a good talk that was very enjoyable um i forget which one it was but very very cool to see you get in there i see you're being consistent right it's hard to follow up what's what's the most rewarding part and what's the most difficult part about having a podcast you've found so far 
Um, it's not that easy to build it to stand out because many people have podcasts. I think that's the most difficult part. The most rewarding part is um, the easiest part is maybe getting people to open up. And I did it also partly to improve my own skills of getting people to open up and be able to have that kind of conversation with people. Very cool. Makes sense. It's awesome. All right, we are three-handed, and we see two nines here. And Andres may be thinking, is this time to put pressure? No, not with the 10-6 off. Going to give Shanghai that one. He is in the commanding position for the 221,000. We see the pay jumps here. And this is a spot, King Do suited, sixes, very strong hand for sixes. Likely going to get pressure put here for um, – he does limp, okay. Doesn't go for the three-and-a-half X. All in, no messing about. Okay, King Jack, 10-7 suited. Going to check back, has some showdown, and we see top pair flop for Arsene. Shanghai with two overs here, goes for a lead out on this board in the limp pot. I, is, I uh... uh... I it just I'm watching these decisions and I'm thinking like why are these guys doing some of these like uh, whatever because I'm thinking of them in, in in combination with their other decisions right and if I was like the the guy Shanghai I would have bet out the eight seven personally and then I, even if I didn't I would for sure have bet the turn where you know now he's got a flush draw and he's got you know all the aces in the planet and whatever but. And then he like decides to make the easiest bluff in the world to call, um, you know, on the river. And the guy even has the best hand, and he raises. Just th sitting here thinking, this, and now he wants to lead the king jack off on the ten seven six. I'm thinking, like, come on, man. Look at this. The aces limp bets out with top set, checks back, and then gets his opponent to float ten six suited high but on the river here what can he do is there any way to get any chips here not with a no he actually okay, got a nice value he did he did pretty well he did bet. yeah he did did a good job there actually to, to do a bet flop check turn his opponent caught up and here wow we might see a we're gonna see a shove from shanghai we know that based on how he's played almost oh yeah certainly oh yeah and King Queen also gonna call, oh. so we could be heads up. Oh, that's Snap a calls, and eight's looking good as a three one favorite after the flop to the turn. Eighty six percent favorite needs to fade a king or a queen, and he does. It is paint, but it is a jack, and we are still gonna run. And the people, the people jungle are the going people. wild in the chat. They're the going, people are going wild, guys. The people champ. They are in it. Three million. They're in second place. Are we gonna are we at four hundred? We're at three hundred twelve thumbs up. If we get to four hundred, it's a two hundred dollar giveaway. If Shanghai wins, we are really up at one point three, three thirty thumbs up, man. Wow, Shanghai can do it. Some guys can do it, jungle. He can do it. He's in it. He's moving. Oh well, no, 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 stop. All right, all right. We need a people's intervention. We need, we need a, a uh, what is it called? A community meeting or like whatever. We need some kind of Oh man, we need no, 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 no. You there, didn't there's, like there's it. some things we need. We need to talk about some things. We need to. We need to have um a forum or whatever the people would have in this situation. Guys, type <laughs> Come on. the letter. Let me know where you're watching from. First of all, hello oh, everyone Jesus out there. Christ. Thank you so much. And type a G in the chat if you are in the giveaway. With you got, you're riding on Shanghai right now to take you guys to a, a $200 giveaway. Type a G in the chat if you are already in the giveaway. Let's see who's in it. Let's see who's participating. It doesn't take much, and we have got a shot tonight to witness history. Jungle of Shanghai can put the people on his back and get it done. Type a G. Yeah, he can carry the way. people in victory. All right, someone can with this guy Shanghai. I don't trust uh, the people in his hands. I'm not. <laughs> You don't think he can get it done? He, I mean, he's no, got. No, I think he can get it done. He just needs a little. He needs a little assistance with some of these plays. Um, My man's going boat trip in here with the. I hate 10, to say five it. off. G in the chat. Uh, if you've hit the thumbs up, uh, hit the G. 
G unit in the chat. We are going to see Shanghai make a full. There. There, there we go. There we go, Shanghai. All right, I like it. I like the G's. G. G could stand for jungle man with the G for a G. What does the G stand for? What does that mean? Project it just growth? means if you're in the giveaway. It means if you are actively participating for oh. Shanghai to take it down. Uh, and also for you to win a dinner. You're not out of the woods, jungle. You could you could actually win this dinner. You could backdoor it right Sweating now. Sweating this dinner pretty hard. Yeah, this is serious. All right, that's enough. That's enough for the G's. I just want to see if people are actively participating in our giveaways or if no one is taking this guy serious. 1.2 thousand people watching 364 thumbs up and there is an eight on the river so we are gonna see a oh, man this is oh, actually man. a very interesting spot well there's gonna be some stuff happening this hand uh there's there's gonna be some pain there's pain in someone's future it's gonna be some pain and gain uh, i think our senate based on how he's played is gonna go for a very meaty bet here uh there is a flush in the oh, board yeah. is paired but he's got to feel like there's also a good chance that he's targeting a 10 that would not be chopping because he has jack 10 for a really big street. He also has a heart in his hand. Less likely his opponent has a flush. Is there any scenario where he turns? <laughs> We've seen some wild plays. He's blocking some boats. He also could maybe think he's getting it off a chop. Is there any scenario where he shoves here? Is that just absolutely insane? No way. That would be really the play of the, the century. That would be so high tech. As it stands, though, the chips tech, are yeah. moving around. And there it is 3.6 million to 3.6. And everyone has got a shot right now at this. It was just a moment ago. It was, uh, it was a one for all. And now it's a free for all. Something like that. It is a free for all. It is literally a free for all. I might have to just accumulate uh, the giveaway. Not for long, what it was. So once all right, I see a lot of familiar faces. I appreciate you guys coming in. Nine five suited and six seven. We got people with something here. It's hard to both hit a flop. We got the nine high flush draw. We got mid pair, and we got a bet. Let's see if Shanghai comes out with a check raise or just a call. It just calls. King rolls off. Six seven still in the lead. Nine five suited needs a nine or a spade to have a winning hand. Although our seven Here's, here may just keep the pressure on. <laughs> Here's uh, Shanghai's time to shine. Here's, let's see what he does on the river. What? All right, so 6-7 going to bet a second time. This could also be his time to shine. He could bluff here. I mean, it's not really the, the most amazing spot to bluff. Um, wow. Still kind well, of a spot to shine. He could lead. He does make his hand nine high flush completes on the river. And what is he going to do here? 900 in the middle. Arseni not loving life with this run out. And it looks like Shanghai is going to be carving out a bet. 400 check. No check. Okay. And Arseni now has a bit of a decision. Does he want to try to turn, get a jack, right? He put a lot of pressure on a jack here. What do you like for sides if you go for the bluff, which I think he's going to be fine to talk himself yeah, into. Yeah, I guess, I guess you're right, actually. He could bluff. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Um, he could bet, like... There it is, 490. Snap no, call. No. No, no, no. I, I, I the be show the snap call, but it did work out. Yo, don't look now. The people's man is in the lead jungle. You might do it the unconventional way. I am a little nervous all of a sudden for the two hundo. We need a forum. And a dinner. And we need a, a dinner. forum. Three hundred seventy-five we'll, we'll thumbs up. Dinner you guys in the, the lead. Forum. Shanghai can be wow. president of the dinner. Why not? Um, Shanghai, are we giving Shanghai an invite if he takes it down? I mean, I, we don't know who he is, but we'll see if he's in the region. If he's in the vicinity when we have our dinner jungle, I think that's reasonable. Five, sure, six sure. has a gut shot to the four deuce king flop. Going to see check check here. And now Arsene's pouncing on it with a 140 bet size. Gets called six high, not the best hand. Snap called the turn there, jungle. Spicy. I like it. Might, might have like some it. plans here. 
Well, assume that Arsene also had some plans, so uh, Arsene wins the hand. Very nice. Aggression rewarded. Picks it up. We're three-handed here. 70K big blind, so stacks have balanced out. We weren't really sure what we were going to see, how this would play out, but it is all of a sudden it went from a sort of a route for Andreas to being wide open and King nine again here with the best hand. And he is up to 4 million. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys are on the dance floor right now. You guys are officially on the dance floor. He has got a shot. There's two fours going to pop it up. King do suited. Certainly going to play out flops. The force makes top pair. Generally, we see a small bet here. Try to get a free turn card. That would be the standard line. Go for a small bet. You like the check. It's fine. Yeah, I like the check. I'm sure the machine will do some kind of mix. Looks good to me. Shine tight. Uh, yeah, that that uh, that nine five of spades just had to get raised. Nine five of spades just had to get raised, man. I'm telling you. No. Whoa. Whoa. God. He hit King Shame. Ten, right? He hit King Ten. Yeah. Uh, all right. All right. I can't take it anymore. Someone give me this guy's number. <laughs> All right, we got we got Shanghai fighting the good fight, man. There is he's fighting the is, good fight, but he needs he needs some weapons. He's a little uh, he's he's uh, I don't really like the other guys overbet. If I like, I don't like the other guys overbet, but when the guy folds king ten, there, I mean, like anything's good, right? You can just bet. You can just do literally anything. Okay, um, so nine five bets his gutter in an over, and look at this jack nine suited two overs and a gut shot goes ahead and pounces wow. on it. Okay, that's, guys are that's going fairly for spicy. It, man. That's fairly spicy. There's a lot of spice in this game, man. It's spice in all kinds of directions. I mean, after seeing this, I I, I just feel like, ah, man, you know what? Maybe I'm gonna play some tournaments. The wheels are spinning here. Andreas gonna lay it down. Arseni with a nice. Nice play. We are we've got a lot of poker left. Three handed here. The rockets are handed out. Good, Three yeah. decent hands here. And Arseni with the rocks gonna pop it up and ace nine off. Let's see what our friend does here. Ace nine <laughs> off. He's gotta pitch it. Yeah, he's gotta pitch it for sure. Well played. Uh, the the good thing is he's not messing around that much pre-flop. That's one thing that uh Shanghai is doing well, is that uh yeah, you don't like don't want to get too splashy pre-flop in these things. It's one of the biggest mistakes possible. So Shanghai is doing that right. Um, yeah, the post-flop is uh, well. The good news is not the other guys aren't playing perfect post-flop either. Okay, so knowing Andreas, I guess he's gonna like bluff here, right? Yeah, he's got he's got the key card and also has. I mean, he's just got well like, ten dudes what? on. Wow, and look at this. What a river for him. Wait, so the guy holding bad river. King 10 in the other spot, and now he wants to call the 10-2? What? Did, I, did I get the other hand right? Like, why is this happening? No, man. Uh, all right, we, we need a forum. We need a forum. I, I can't. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cause a revolt myself. Um... Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We're, Jack for students. Huh? Yeah, we're we're we are officially fairly even stacked, three-handed, wide open and available. Both players flop top pair here. All right. We're sending with the back door flush draw, but people's behind. chance. Thank <laughs> you. 
Both. Um, okay. They both yes. had a backdoor flush draw. I'm sorry. So now Queen Six Suited does have a backdoor flush draw coming through. They're all going to check, and it would be a chop if it goes check, check, which on this board definitely seems reasonable. Pretty scary board. A lot happening. Hmm. I'm wondering what these guys should do differently. I mean, one clear strategy is uh, bluff this guy Shanghai from what I see. Certainly off of anything that's like not that good. Uh, I don't know about top pairs, but clearly he's going to be overfolding really hard in all the other spots. Um, and then it does feel like Arseny and Andreas end up battling kind of more than they should, but it's really hard to say. Yeah. I think, I think Hello Toddy's mostly played pretty sensibly. Yeah, our Sunny there. Ace nine off, going to limp in there. We see a lot of that suit the gap, suit the gap, or the king X, queen X go for a raise here. Although Ace nine is, that's oh, a pretty I, strong hand, three handed. I, uh, I, I will say that in my experience, raising limps does not go as well as it should. Um, and I would personally prefer to make it a smaller size in my experience or some kind of polarizing size if it was worked out. Uh, I mean, Shanghai is doing good to trap Arsene. That's good. So King Do suited is going to continue here on the turn. Queen comes, and if you limp, call the ace nine off, all of a sudden this thing starts getting a little less exciting. You're playing for the chip lead pot. He does stick in correctly on the river and if he's able to get to a showdown he will have the best hands so this arsony guy should 100 percent be bluffing on the river no i mean not because gto would but because the shanghai guy has shown no propensity to hero call from what i've seen is overfolding a lot of spots uh i mean i would like this is fine he can do a lot of things i mean he's gonna bet the turn he's gonna bet the river like you can check the turn too I mean, maybe Shanghai calls. I wouldn't like. I wouldn't like change my opinion if Shanghai calls the spot. To be honest. Wow, he really wants to. Let's see if he does. He would be. This is. I'm officially nervous for if he can make this call right now. He is going to vault into a. We might see the chat just go nuts here. This is. He's. He's time banking. He is time banking. The longer he goes, the longer. The more likely I think he is going to call. Shanghai, can you do it, brother? Can you just hang it in? You've been playing patient. Can you just snap one off here? Can you do it and pick up and be at about five million? Jungle, yeah. what is he doing? I think he usually, might find it. Usually people fold these spots, but maybe he'll find a call. I would say like something like uh somewhere between I would say a third of the time or so, maybe he calls. Does fold, does end up folding. And I got a bit of an announcement that I just got some new info on. I knew this was possible, but apparently, Jungle, we're going to see another edition of similar to the Triton Million in London back in 2019. There's going to be the same format, $200,000 USD that's happening in Cyprus. And that will be the same format where they separate the pros and the businessman. They're going to do a $200,000 version. I'm not sure if they're rebuys or no. not. So does that, no. does that make your... Does that make you want to go to Cyprus anymore for a 200K format, same as before that Triton million? Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. Well, there you, there you go. There you have it. That's, ha that's what's happened. I don't know if that's an exclusive break or not, but I just got info from someone I know that knows and uh, a reliable source who is saying that is the, that's what's happened. So 200K businessman and pro separated from the start tournament, similar format to the 1 million Triton in London back in 2019. So that's pretty exciting. And uh, yeah, that is going to go down in September in Cyprus at the new casino. They built a brand new casino there, Jungle. Did you see that being developed when you were there last? Um, Is it in Limassol or is it in uh, somewhere else? No, it's Merit, the Merit Cyprus. Oh, really? I didn't know that. No, that is new. Yeah. Brand new state-of-the-art 
casino. I know Rob Young has some footage, some videos of that that he's been posting. I'm not sure if it's officially done, but yeah, keep an eye on that. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, big news. Poker, poker, live poker has been absolutely booming. So it's, uh, let's be curious. I mean, that's going to probably get a lot of people. I feel like this guy is Shanghai. I feel like he's in one of these situations where he could just run like any bluff and it would be plus EV. To be fair, it's still hard to do, but I feel like people just don't realize that sometimes. They just haven't done anything like all tournament. No one knows who they are. You just run some animal bluff, like three-handed. Yeah. I feel like some people do realize that too. And then people say, why do they run that bluff? And then, oh, that was why. <laughs> Yeah, but it's sure. easy to be results oriented in these situations. It, it, everyone's everyone's always results oriented. It's like really surprising. Yeah, it's true. That's a that's a that's a that's a tendency that does happen a lot. And here, King Queen has the best hand. The board doesn't get too scary, and he is going to go for a bet on the river. Seven Deuce has bottom pair. Not a lot else going on. Doesn't have a spade. Maybe thinking about possibly. Up to no good, but I mean, I'm, just... I'm, I'm, I'm going to comment up on chat. Johnson and Lemon. That's not a reason. Just because something's hard isn't isn't a reason to not do it. That's where the value is. Where stuff is hard, you do it anyway. When it's when it's good, and not not hard for no reason, but hard for when it's up for when when the result is good. <laughs> All right. Makes well, sense. look at this. Shanghai gets the value on the river, 3.5, 3.8, and 2.7 million. We are wide open here to crown season two, episode 49, as Super Millions champion. I believe this would be the first title for any of these players, if I'm not mistaken, but we have seen their resumes shown throughout. Some of the, I don't, I would say the household names at the final table have been eliminated, and we are guaranteed six figure paydays for all three players here. Some new newer faces here. I guess Arsene is a known player, right? That's a known online crusher. Uh, yeah, he's he's apparently hello Tali on stars. He's he does very well. Yeah, world class. I can I, I recognize the name. I don't know him like that well, but and he's made some good yeah. plays. Like I would say, he's played the best so far that I've seen. I mean, Victor's yeah. Vic, of course not better than Victor. Victor's uh, my uh, friend. Ah, uh, come on, man. No. We'd like to see a standard raise, not a ship, but does take it down. Jack nine, deep enough here. 80 big blind, 80K does fold. And we see King 10 off and Jack four off. Let's see Shanghai, who does go ahead and limp in. King four with a pretty quick three and a half X. And limp ace deuce off in the big blind. See if they'll let the Motown, the Jack five, actually Motown suited Jack five off. Does check back the ace deuce. So uh, we'll see if Jack five, what he goes with, starts with a check 10, eight, three rainbow. That's an interesting price point, isn't it? Jungle for the, for the million, they used to the million pounds. And now they're doing the same format for two hundred thousand. I think that may. I mean, that the, that the may change things. Yeah, players. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Bigger, that actually, is a good idea. Way bigger purse. It's a cool thing yeah. about poker is it's very actionable. Like if yep. it's 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 interesting because in many bigger sorts of situations, there's not much mobility in the sense of there's not much actual change in the in the groups. But in poker, yeah. if something makes sense, people just do it. That's it's come one of these subtle uh, aspects right. of poker that is underappreciated. Yep. Yeah, like the big blind Annie, for example, to just figure that out or stuff yeah. that just you're just like, all right, let's make let's do this, make it better. Yeah, but you see, like in, for example, a really extreme situation such as like the American government, like these kinds of changes can't exist uh anywhere near as fast. They have to they would take like a decade to like make some equivalent change. 
Yeah, ten seven off here. If Shanghai were to hold on, you can't blame him. He is going to be in a tough spot going to the river. Queen ten top two. Eight comes on, does complete a straight to a jack for a four liner. So unlikely are saying going to be able to get any more bets in, but does win a healthy pot up to three point seven million and. Shanghai with a bit of adversity. We see there's a Victor going out. People's champ. 2000. People's champ is, no one said it would be easy, Jungle. This isn't just you come on and take it down as the underdog, the short stack. He did get in a chip lead, but now he's in a dog fight. And we're seeing our saying the chips sort of shift his way. Jack 10, likely limping based on the spot. And let's see what three deuce off if our Senny. Goes for anything, doesn't, and both players flop a pair here. So Shane High with a decent start does go for the check. I don't like how Shanghai is checking in these situations where he has a big range advantage. It's better to check because Arseni has the chip lead and is likely to be a bit more aggressive, but it's not so overbearing that he should do that a lot. And even so, like, this is obviously Shanghai's strategy. Um, in this case, it looks like it did hurt him because the Shanghai just played his end normally. Um, well, that's just this is just a, a variation of a swing. It, it's it's misleading to look at it like that. So I will say that, uh, yeah, like, uh, he's going to save money because he did this um, instead of like back. Big bet coming here and snap called off three deuce going to get. A nice site, 900,000 pop, put him over 5 million. So all of a sudden he has basically 50% of the chips in play. And look at these pretty looking hands for three handed and queen 10 suited may get, get boxed out here. Cause ace Jack going to check the temperature of Shanghai kicking oh, up. Yeah, queen yeah. 10 suited is just going to like to have played, but Tom not check. for that. Well, wow. wow. okay. Yep. yep. Okay, well, here we go. This is now the Arseni show jungle. He is up to 5 million. He's got the King Deuce suited versus Deuces. Be interesting to see what Shanghai does here with this stack size of 25 big blinds. I, I think, yeah, he can do that. That seems like a solid play. Yep, A7 off, and we see a very pretty hand 910 suited in the small blinds. Does decide to flat. I, uh, you know, you know, this is one of these weird things where it's important to consider alternative possibilities. Uh, the twos play on second thought, and this a seven play. I, I would presume they're both fine, but there's definitely we're getting close to the point where these plays are a little bit too spicy, given that we're really, really icy and vulnerable. The other guy has a similar stick, chip stack and, pro and appears to like to spice it up too. So if I was in Shanghai's shoes, I would keep that in mind and not get too splashy. This is one of these. This is one of these subtle things because play changes a lot in this situation, and and a lot based on stack sizes. It should it should vary like all the time. I don't know what's going on in this Ace Nine hand or this Nine Ten hand. It seems like a strange play. Wow, big bet. I mean, the flush comes in, doesn't have a spade. Player calls a bet lead out, and now Jack Nine with top pair and a Jack High. Spade draw calls, and what do you do here if you are sending out? You get called here. And, I just I mean, don't understand what the action was. There was a lead. Oh, the nine ten led. That's what happened, right? And now he's leading the turn. Um, I would think that Arsenia is going to check and just check fold. Well, I mean, Andreas is going to check back, but like, uh, I mean, yeah, I don't think betting the turn is really that good. Uh, Munker Solver and Pio Solver are supposedly good these days. I used Pio Solver in my day. Munker Solver does three ways. Yeah, that was a really that was not good for the people's champ. People's choice. Well, is he the people's choice or the people's champ? I don't know what we're going with. This is very. He's, good. he's, he's for the people. That's what he is. He does. It doesn't matter how you. 
Yeah, uh, you know, however you want to slice it, this is the guy that they, the, the money's coming if you guys win. Is, we got to get to 400 thumbs up, guys. We're at 382. You're already guaranteed 100 if he wins, but it'll be 200 if we have 400. We're very close. How about Corey Aldemar going for another main event run here with 123 left still in? That's pretty impressive. And the guy, Lacoco, Lacaco, the, the Argentinian rapper also who made the November 9 last year, is like one of the chip leaders. And it's pretty crazy. Right. Well, if Corey backs to back the, the main event, um, that would really beat my score. I will, I will give him that. He definitely wins the back-to-back -back championship. He'll be the yeah. master of that. Um, this yeah. is amazing for the people's choice. Of course, the turn is a nine of all the things in the world. <laughs> of course, it's a nine. <laughs> it's a great card, that's for sure. Oh, man. And there it is. Uh, Green River. Just, nah, that's just it. Clean River, 1.4 million in the middle. Shanghai has got a winner in this no! sizing. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Jungle down. I can't take it. I can't take it. What, the, what was that? What was that? No. <laughs> Oh, I can't take it. I didn't think that there was going to be any more um, of something else happening, but I was wrong, guys. I was wrong. I, I don't understand that play. Okay, I got to play these tournaments. I just can't. I can't, you can't breathe. take it, huh? You can't I can't take, take it, it anymore. I can't take it. There's no justice in the world. You. I'll tell you what, Andreas has got a very powerful king queen suited here, and I don't see any other, um, I don't see any other possibility other than entering the pot. He does with the call, not a raise. Can't blame him there. That's fine. Yeah, that seems very standard. And I also just got word that there is, uh, there is a rebound. That's good. In this 200k, just so we're oh, really? on that jungle. So that's becomes a two. I think 250. I would like to see just make it a cool five, but still 200. That's actually. I'm sure there's a lot of thought in that. It's pretty good. Okay, this play I like more. This play I I, I can see it. I can see it. Okay, I, I I I like the nine is not is a good card for the um for the small blind defense. Yes. Okay. And of course, there was the raise by Arseni, which is interesting, but okay. Yeah, I I'm not a fan of this Ace Nine play. I'm not a fan. I'm really, really not a fan. Like Shanghai had like was not gonna bluff that spot. Come on. And he wasn't gonna call with worse. There's no need to block bet. What do you think he'd like turn to pair of nines and then <sighs> Wow. Oh, Are we seeing well, what's happening well, here? Yo, the, the, this is oh, this is damn. big. This is big deal. This is going to be an important one for the for the for the man, Ace King to Queens, and we are going to see a snap call. I guess not a snap. It's going to be a call. It's just got to be, of course, three handed. But he does it. He does. Oh, so there's a there's a wow. Wait, hold on, Jungle. Or is there a, is there a world where we see Ace King lay it down here with this action? Is there? Nope. There's not. We are going. This is for the chip lead. This is for a K. This is for a lot. Ace King needs help. Needs help, jungle. You are you got to hit a river, jungle. I got to tell you, you and the people, or else Shanghai is going to be very short, and that is not. Oh no! We got it in for a sweat there. It's not over though. It is not over. Four hundred fifty thousand, critically short, but not out. And now Shanghai does it get a walk? Or are we going to see five with six high? So this plays right. He's just Got the, the Jack 10 call is correct for sure. But it looks yeah, like oh, oh no, the people, the people the are people still can do are it. still in play. They're All in right. play, guys. The people, are, the people can't keep the people down. It's hard. 
It's hard to get good people down. Wow, that was a lot of action. We're up to 395 thumbs up. You guys are unbelievable. Let me know where you're watching from. Got questions for Dan and myself. We're keeping an eye on the chat, and we are still three-handed. Unreal action there. Wow. Um, okay, I love so doing these. these. I, I got to oh. say, Juggle, this has been... This has been a treat today. There's been some uncharacteristic stuff, but I love doing these shows. I really do appreciate you coming on. I'm going to say it one more time. Thank this you for could, making the time today. This could be it right here. Uh, the people's the people's choice should definitely have shoved there. And there's a double up. There's probably a double up. Wow. Oh, a double up. It's over. Wow. He literally the people. hit. The people are powerful. <laughs> Power to the people, John. Never underestimate the people and the underdogs. You can't. You just can't do it. I mean, it just, it just, you can't give up on them. And this has been a wild ride of doubles, jungle. Wow. Wow, man. The energy is powerful. And these guys are really doing it. Look at this. He is ready to rock. Oh, the and people, roll. the people, man. <laughs> Don't He's mess the to, people. They haven't learned their lesson yet. <laughs> He's up to two mil, jungle. He is alive and kicking. This is, we got an instant classic on our hands. 135,000 going to go out for a third place finisher, but no one seems to want to depart yet. Everyone on the podium currently, we got a treat for you today. 9 7, Queen 6 suited, has the Queen High Flush Rod, does go ahead and bet and picks it up. Our Andre, Andreas finds his way back into the chip lead with 5 million. All of a sudden, has half the chips in play. Cool 10 milli in the in the middle. So we see a check back three, six, eight suited, six, eight suited, pretty good flop has a flush draw King, King deuce going to come out betting. Can't imagine threes does anything but call here. I guess there could be a scenario to raise because I would think they call standard, but let's see, John, what's he got? What's he got up his, up his bag here? Um, not much. That's what he's got. Uh, I'm going to vote that the eight, six of diamonds wins this, this pot. Especially if, if there's a raise, I think there's a high chance that, well, maybe not. We'll see. Well, there it goes. There's the, there's the, uh, probably the eight, six of diamonds is going to win this one. Yeah, it's got one of the worst hands he could have, although he does have the, the diamonds, which are the draw that misses, but he goes for that big bet size and two threes. Doesn't may feel something's up to no good here. It's just such a, I mean, it's pretty difficult to call at the same time because your opponent bet an ace like this. You block three, four. Not that that's really a likely hand to have here. So I, I just, I don't know though. Look at the wheel spinning though, Jung. It's high level. This guy's, this guy's feel something's off. Does fold. Nice it would have been a tough call. call. Very tough call. Yeah, tough. almost unreasonable comes to mind I, I wanted uh you know we're voting for the we're rooting for the people here so we're looking for a call but it would have been a tough call guys i do have a 300 dollars giveaway for you next week no matter what if um whatever happens but we could tack on 200 here i just know we have to get a moderator in the chat my man jimmy bluffett in the building well uh we are we have done some giveaways moneymaker did a giveaway i did one last week as well and um yeah we got some <laughs> We got some stuff cooking. We have got some action brewing. Eight four off. Gonna get the best hand to fold here. <laughs> this is this is this has been this this title might be spice if we when we do the highlights on this one, it'll be fun. This has been some interesting hands for sure. Uh, Joker with the, uh, the the chat with the 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 good the burns. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it is fun, man. I gotta say, I have a good time. I, this is fun to do every week. I enjoy this. King eight. Everyone's got a heart. Everyone's got two overs. We could see a little bit of chips in this pot, but Shanghai. Does he want to start? Oh, oh no! Oh uh, no! May lose a few chips here, but you get, the good thing about the Shanghai is that uh, he's not going to lose that much if he gets cooler. Yeah, it's going to be hard to lose too many chips. The 10 high flush, is it strong enough? And how, what size? And maybe some blocker value-ish. Goes for bigger size. And it gets called. Nicely played by Andreas. And Shanghai already down the 1.5 million jungle. I mean, the nine are a lot of showing. A lot of one-card shows tonight. Uh, man, I can't make it. This is just... 
I mean, I guess he can fold. I, I, how do you say? Um, uh, I'm a little surprised he called there. He's, he's, you know, the other guy, people don't really do that usually with buffs, but his hand's like borderline possibly good enough to vibe at. Uh, but if you were playing the knit game, he would fold. The uh the on the four flush spot I'm referring to. Damn it. Come Pretty on river here. people. Wow, gets the spade on the turn and a gut shot and then completes with the river king, which is can't blame Shanghai for calling there. Down to a million. Pretty pretty tough run out. Yeah, so all of a sudden he's got 10% of the chips in play. And we're at over 400 likes. So you guys are doing your part. Let's see if Shanghai can do his. Jungle, what's your favorite game? You play the 50K back-to-back -back winning WSOP, the tournament, maybe the most prestigious one. What's your favorite of those games that you play in that tournament? Element. You said no limit? Yeah. Okay, of, of non no limit. What's your next best game? PLO? Mm, maybe. There are certainly better PLO players than me. I'm excited. Oh, rockets. Ooh. Wow. Does he have a flat in him? Or is it with a short stack there? Is oh, it no, just no no no. no, no, no. So like everyone always like traps their big hands a lot. Um it feels like at least my intuition says that people it's very strange what people do. It's very strange. It doesn't seem like it follows like logical patterns a lot. What I mean is, in this case, uh, it appears that people have raised limps really a lot and put a lot of pressure on them, but a lot of unnecessary pressure. Then it is not really working, but it's very hard to say 100%. It's, it's not that cheap also. You know, when you raise it 450,000 to win, what, like uh, 237,000? It's not cheap. But you also yeah. have a chance to bluff and stuff like that. Oh, and um, it's not the spot to make a move also. Uh, both their stack sizes are equal. The Shanghai guy is worse than both of them, from my point of view. Uh, is very short, so they should really, really not be playing many pots with each other. And he's, like, folding a lot, you know? Yeah. He's not, he's not like aggressive or anything as a short stack would be dangerous being he's um as a short i mean he's, he's shoving and stuff so that's good but he's not like making any tough moves post off or something he doesn't have that element which adds something uh but I, I don't think he's gonna like be a super challenging short stack see the seven high snap check back there interesting just decides to give up king jack gonna take it down but again we are seeing exactly these guys are Pretty pretty even, and then we're very short stack here. A7, I'm going to ship in 11, 12 lines. A10, I'm going to fold. And my man is on the short stack now. He is officially on around 10 lines. And probably going to give a walk there. 3, 7 off. Takes it down. Going to hit the big blind. Three-handed, nowhere to hide. King 6, 8, 4. Do 6 suit folds. Likely see some limping going on here on these stack ups. Look at this. Little 4x spice there. Uh, yeah, I just don't I, like. Okay, I I, I can re see it normally. Um, Whoa, I just big hands here too. I can see it normally, but not in this. Uh, in these situations, like these are not the situations where you want to just randomly spice it with just random hands. 
Well, not at all. Ace queen suited the tens needs some help. Seventy thirty tens to the river Five has to people. pay a five ace people. or queen. The people, the dinners, all on the line. Not enough. G -G. People were not strong enough against. They weren't the, enough uh, there, man. A couple big flips. Mm. Machine. No super millions winning. Three hundred thirty thousand on GG poker winning and GG poker winnings, and that is it. We have got a heads up battle, Jungle. Your sweat is over. The dinner is locked. The people have bowed out this week, but they do have a three hundred dollar giveaway, which is going to take. I'm going to give away next week. So, guys, tune in for that. Apologize, we didn't get it organized for today, but I do not forget. Like a Lannister, we got to get it done. We're going to do it next week. Look at this, King Seven suited, Jack Five off jungle. Who do you like to take this battle down? They're even. They're basically. Oh, I've lost dinner already. I didn't yeah, realize. that's true. I can't um, ask. I I like Hello Toddy just because I think. Uh, like I, I can understand rooting for the underdog if they've got some hidden qualities or if they, uh, you know, if there's some reason for them to win. But like, I don't see any reason to vote for anyone but the guy who I think plays better. Right? Like, that's the real fair outcome. Is the person who put in the time and put in the effort. Like the, the, you know, you want them to win. You want the person who put in the time and effort to win. You don't want the. You don't want like the guy to the other guy to just get lucky and win. No, that's how I look at it, anyways. For sure. Look at this. Four or five off has one of the worst hands. Probably gonna take a shot at this and gonna bet basically into the stone cold nuts, the second nuts, and he oh, goes yeah. big. This has been working a lot. It's not gonna work here. And Andreas is gotta love his situation and he is gonna look for more chips, but Arsenal is going to just snap fold and be at a pretty big deficit now all of a sudden. Yeah, this is uh, just wondering. Look, what, is, what a spot. Checks back the turn. Arsenal turns double gutted. Check, check, river spade. And this is... It's going to just go to the next hand as five high certainly can't do much there. 173,000 locked up, playing for a lot, playing for 48,000 roughly. 910 suited. We see a limp off of this 6120. What are when do you start limping? At what stack sizes do you like to start limping jungle when you're when your head's up? Um. Maybe like 40 big ones. Uh, it depends. You can live at 100, actually. That's a thing. Look at this. He is really stepping into it here a few times now. He's basically betting into the nuts heads up jungle. We may not have many more hands on our. I mean, is this one he just goes goes to the to the window to the walls with? This is he's got basically the worst hand and he just calls. He does not improve. The club doesn't improve. And Arsene, does he go for the shell here? And he bet the uh, turn big. I'm just, I, I have to, well, I, I would not be a big fan of shoving. I would not bluff also, I don't think, with this hand. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this play at all, actually. Um, the machine will not bluff the turn, I think. Uh, but it's okay. Buffing the river is too aggressive, 100%, because then he's buffing the river with all sorts of things. And... Sure enough, he gets punished. You would prefer to see a club in there or just some other little different selection of... of yeah, club. Cool. Yeah. Well, guys played a flawless match, but heads up a few missteps, and Andreas is going to be very close with about 85% of chips in the play after he puts it in and gets the fold here. So it is going to be a massive, massive spot to have a... <laughs> to take down the Super Millions title here. A big favorite, not over till it's over, but has most of the chips in play. See if he just goes for a full limp strategy off this stack depths. We'll see a shove and a full. Getting close here, Jungle. Getting close. We have seen some epic comebacks in the past, but the blinds here are big, and we are down to two. One thing so I didn't understand. Huh? Go ahead, go ahead. I just found it surprising that Andreas limped or didn't raise the 10-9 uh, suited. I, I would think this hand is always raised in this spot. Uh, things get weird at shorter stack sizes. 
I'm not exactly an expert on like exactly what you're supposed to do with the short stack sizes, but I would think that you would uh, want to raise the 10.9 suited. I don't understand this one either. I don't understand this one either, but you know, people can do what they they're, they want to do. And a raise here with the 10 cents. What's going on? Like, maybe the are you getting trolled? Maybe you think that maybe he's got the best hand. I don't know. That was surprising, raise too. I always try not to be biased when you're seeing the cards hit face up, but there are definitely, I would say, like today in particular, there was a lot of plays that I was like, wow, like this is really different. I mean, I'd say these are two of the guys who played a better match as well. Like our, like you said, our same might have played one of the best. He just kind of stepped into it here down the stretch. He's got a winner on this particular hand. Four flush rolls off. Does Andreas want to bet with one of the worst hands he can have? And he does. The pro, he does have one of the worst hands he can have, but there's more factors that are important here because there are many – there are many kinds of well, first of all, does the other guy fold is one factor, but there's many other there's many similar hands you can have. You can have five three, you can have seven five, you can have eight seven, you can have eight four, like you can have a lot of those hands, right? Or excuse me, not eight, but seven four and nine three. He's got a lot of commas of bluffs, is the problem. And it also didn't work, which makes his bluff like pretty bad. Um would be an annoying hand to see from his shoes. Uh but um, yeah, in that spot, he doesn't want to get too frisky with bluffs. If unless he knows the other guy is going to fold, if he knows that if the other guy overfolds, it's good. If the other guy overcalls, it's quite bad. You know, it's one of those things that goes like this, or how right. do you say? It's one of the. It's either like one way or the other way. I got you. And here. we see the four five actually improve. And man, talk about distribution wise, Arsenal is really just, you know, he's been running into the top of range. Here, here um, Arsene should definitely bluff. This one I approve of, but it's too bad. And I do not approve of this shove. I do not approve. Veto, 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 veto. Yeah, playing for a lot of money in a title, Super Millions title. I know that there will be Super Millions live where they'll keep track of a special format and live stops with the same same buy-in where they're going to keep track to see whose results are the best overall uh, for live Super Millions. So that's going to be pretty cool coming up. And we see that boys playing a little post-flop. I mean, it is getting to a close to all in poker for our, our semi very short at this 60 120 but we still have some poker left folds both players with terrible hands there so takeaways from today jungle you're ready to get back and play more tournaments that's one of the takeaways i would say right or at least you're you oh on a call first step into the possibility of some longer play is this four or five suited queen 10 flops a monster hand and that is gonna lock it up that is gonna lock it up for a double up 3.3 million two to one just like that is not over it is not over jungle two eights here gonna be putting some chips in on jack four suited let's see arsenio with some newfound chips does make the call and problematic board for him andrea is gonna go ahead and check over Check back three pairs the turn. Eight's in a pretty nice position. And imagine some protection here. It's got to feel decent about the situation. Probably hard to put your opponent on a four, though, with this particular action. Maybe you think has some overs. Oh, um, oh I should add, uh, I understand the, the games were like kind of colluded on in GG before. I forgot to mention that. Because, like, wasn't there, like, this, like, giant multi-accounting scandal? Not multi-accounting, excuse me, uh, a colluding scandal where the players were, like, um, basically, like, how do you say? I don't know. Is someone asking? I'm not sure. I mean, there's there's been 
there's been, there has, I know that GG is some of the best security in the world as well as some of the other major sites that are kind of partnered up. There's definitely been talk of that in poker recently where there's been some problems online, but you know, there's also RTA talk and other things. It's just kind of one of those, those spots that is always being evaluated and something that's a risk, right? But it was that we were referring to, which one in particular? Well, I'm talking about the Bryn Kenny stuff, right? Because he had like his whole ring and they were like, I forget if they're sharing whole cards or whatever it was, or at least that was the accusation. I don't know what the consensus on of that was. I mean, I'll be honest. I, I know that he came on and talked. There's some other people that talked uh, like, and he defended himself and put some stuff on poker news and whatnot. So I don't know how it all got resolved. I do know that there are sites that certain players aren't allowed to play at live stops, right? Like they're just sort of not allowed. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not specifically familiar with what, that situation is but you know look i'd say this online you always have to be careful you always have to try to do your best and that's that's something that you know, i think the sites are very actively pursuing to make sure it's a safe and, and good experience for people and i know there have been people that have been banned and whatnot so um yeah I, that's all i that's all i really know and here interesting spot for seven eight and eight nine suited i mean everyone's got a little something eight nine suited feeling super nice of course uh yeah, I mean eight eight seven two is gonna call for sure. I would think. Eight Fold has got to be a leak. It, it, yeah, eight, eight seven off suit. Yeah, yeah. Fold has got to be a leak. Um, I don't know what he's doing. Um, does call so can't fault him as you said. That feels like the move to call there. The cooler, the cooler. Like people can value bet two pair there too. It's happened. Yeah, six three ten five suited, likely going to be a small bet takedown. Arseni is in a checks back. Okay, fair enough. Queen eight eight. See some of these like delayed C bets or spots where you think it's mandatory to C bet, but you're able to still take away on the turn. I see that more often. I saw Victor doing that a lot. Some of these spots where he's been heads up or or playing a lot of post flop play. See the nines go for a trap. Do you like that off the yeah, stack us? Yeah, it's good. Nines are a really massive hand right here. Ten force offsuit gonna float and get a pretty big card for his hand if you're gonna call a ten four high. Hit the hit the spade open then. He's got stuff going on now. The interesting part is what do you do when you, you float with that, you get this card and then you see the action. That's, that. what, you do That's what you do. That's what you do. Thank you. Wow. I'm a fan. <laughs> wow. Jungle approved. That has not been jungle a lot of stamps today. The jungle like approved it, like is it. on. Uh, I've got it. I, I gave a couple. I'm. A, you have to give credit to where it's due. If people make a fine play, if it's okay, I say it's okay. If we say it's fine, they make a shit play, then I say it's shit. This play is good. The guy bet fold nines. He just won the pot with 10, 10 four in some spots. And like, what else was he going to do? Was he going to call the flop just to play passively on that turn? Exactly. I think that was, that was the answer. If you're going to float and you get the best card in the deck, basically that doesn't actually improve your hand. You go for it. And he is saying running hot, big spot to take down a title. We are, we're at that stage. We're at that stage. Sub 10 blinds. For Arseni and Andres is hmm? going to be limping. Let's see, eight nine off. Checks back. This is a strange limp. Yeah. Okay. Both players improve on the turn. Two pair for Andre and I'm sorry, not Andre. Arsene and a five suited makes an eight on the turn. Does give it up. Yeah, definitely not conventional off that stack depth. I don't understand that one. Maybe it's a misclick or something. Okay, see the limp, 10-5 off, 4-3 suited. Flops the flush jungle, 118 to 1. We haven't seen one of those today. Going to go ahead and bet, hoping his opponent picks up a piece of it, doesn't do it. Very hard to make a flush. It's also hard to have your opponent have something. Jack-9 suited, Jack-10 off the shove. And if you were to call 10 blinds here, he is going to be in trouble jungle. This is for a title season two 
49 and a favorite Jack 10 to the turn picks up some hearts for outs. Otherwise, we could have a new champion, and it is a nine jungle. We're not ready to go. They're just not. Sometimes you got to stick in, and it's still going. We were that's pretty wild stuff there. This has actually been one of the records for and it's crazy because we were down to like three, four handed pretty quickly, but of course, because the blind size is uh in the deepness of the stacks and how it distributed we have been here for a bit and that's still going to play a little more although it is a three to one ship lead and the blinds just went up so we're getting to the end here but it's not over till it's over and man he was a river card away from tasting it we see the three do suited do you like this on this limp no i don't gives him an affordable wow John, John, I need a highlight tape, guys, for the jungle re reactions today. I mean, this is just, you're, my, you're getting mind blown left and right. Mm. <laughs> now, now the min rays, I mean, this is too shallow. It's just 20 blinds, eights. There it is, 5-3 off, not gonna call. It's just never over, it's just never over. Never over till it's over. And we are seeing some, well, that was pretty, pretty intense to be on the last card and hit it in to keep this game going. Queen five off, six deuce, gonna flop bottom pair. Calls still has the best hand going to the turn. Does Arsenic keep rolling, keep the story rolling or just slow down here? Got called on the flop. Checks it apparently, back. Jack Pierce. But by the way, apparently the 10 4 off was brilliant. To be fair. Apparently that was just brilliant. Uh, let's say. I would say if he knows a lot about the opponent then it can be good if he doesn't. If he has like some kind of population read, this is once in a blue moon, okay. It can be fine. Uh, it's 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 one of these exploitative things that can work. Let's put it that way. What the real answer? That's the real answer. <laughs> Well, we are still rocking and rolling here. Ladies and gentlemen, appreciate you joining us. We are going to play to a winner. We're almost there. We're heads up. And we are guaranteed 173000 if you are one of the two players remaining. 221 up top and a title. There has been some all-ins. There's been some opportunities to end it. See the limp make top and bottom. The missionary 410 off. Nothing can do there. And he is below 20 blinds again. 140K big blind. How familiar are you with the Damos game, Jungle? Have you watched a lot of Adamo or you don't probably haven't caught up too much on tournament poker lately? No. Been, been on a pretty sick heater. In general, definitely one of the people's favorites to watch. Plays big pots, a lot of overbets, and has a lot of success. So we are we are here. We are fighting the fight. We see a limp queen eight off, ace four suited with the check back. Okay. That surprised me a little. Board pairs king, check. Queen high decides, you know what? I probably have the best hand if the player didn't raise pre and didn't bet the flop. And I just could have the best hand with queen high. It's unlikely to have that he has an ace in his hand. I think that's fair to think. And now Arseni is going to potentially... No, checks back. Decides check back. Super short tens gets a walk. Not what he wanted there with two tens. What's that? Oh I yeah, say he yeah. got a walk. He had a big hand there. He's looking for some action. Eight four off. King five off. 
and a limp and a check back. So five makes the bottom pair. King five has a spade. Queen 10, check it. Ace on the turn. Andreas not looking to put more chips in this pot. Appreciate you guys participating. This has been a lot of fun. You guys are with us. A lot of familiar faces in the chat tonight. Thank you so much. And seven, eight suited, going to limp in. Jack three off is checking back. And let's see if Andreas is going to take a stab here. The eight high doesn't. Can you talk about the delay C bet versus the the flop C bet? What what are your what do you what do you just, what's some of the factors you're looking at there when you limp seven eight suited and you get the queen ten five with the bet? Well, you want to wanna, well, there's a number of things. So you want to look at how likely it is you get raised. That's a big one for when you're thinking. You have to well, literally, what you have to do is you have to go through the whole game tree and think like, what are the percents of all these things that this guy does. Um, and then form a counter strategy. That would be the actual thing is you break it down and make some abstractions. Um, generally speaking, what you want to do is you want to pick hands that you're going to see a good chance of double barreling with, but you want to balance with other hands. You have to kind of look at things with the whole picture in mind. And a big factor is, well, let's, let's, just, let's simplify it. So you want to look at, are you going to get raised? Are you going to fall up on the turn? Often someone fold on the flop, or they can fold on the turn, things like that. Those things are important. Well said. Makes a lot of sense. We are seeing a real battle here. No one wants to give up. We did. We're one river card away from a champion. Was meant to be king four, ace nine. This is with the limp. It's probably just going to shove. Yeah, and the king four not quite good enough. Man, the people's champ jungle, ace king to queens, needed just, I mean, it was right there. That was for a lot of cookies. Jack Dusoff going to fire yeah. and take it down. I mean, we could have had a whole different sweat here, but as it turns out, we are down to two, seven, eight, three, eight suited. Seven, eight, going to limp, three, eight suited. Goes for the raise. Small raise. Whittle down, sub 10 blinds now. 70, 140, hello, aces. Wow, he gets tens and aces and gets walked. Pretty unlucky, I'd say distribution wise, it's been one-sided, especially with some of the, the made hands. We saw some big bets that are are sending fired into basically the top of the range with made hands, flushes twice. That's been the story of this heads up battle. And blinds are up jungle, 8160. There's just not a lot of room right now. There's just not a lot of room to go. Seven, six suit are gonna fold. Jack Queen takes it down. And we're gonna see some all ins here. Wow. A six suited to ace jack off. Is this where it ends, jungle? Is this it? Ace jack, a six suited. I mean, maybe we're just going to be here for a while, Jungle. This is possible. This is 6, 7, 10, 4. Flips the script. 93.18% favorite. And Jungle Man, I hope you don't have a cash game waiting list right now because you have been sticking with us for close to a record on the Super Millions and some absolutely ridiculous spots that just doesn't seem to go. We see the Yeah, eight. I did have I did have something that I planned, uh, unfortunately, but I'll I'll figure it out. But Jungle, you know what? You're a great friend. You're a great guy. And you are in here sticking to the end. I wouldn't blame you if you had to leave, but you're sticking it through. And we appreciate that. And we're literally one hand away at any moment, Jungle. So thank you for being with us, guys. If you enjoy Jungle Man, please let him know that you appreciate him coming in, dropping some knowledge. There was a few Jungle approved hands, not a ton today. I'd say that all in all, you were, were, were you a little surprised at how many plays you didn't agree with today? I was, yeah. I really was surprised at some of the things I saw. Wow. Um, so maybe, well, it sounds like it sounds like it was out of the ordinary. Also, is another cooler. Yeah, and this could be more back to excuse me, closer to even possibly here because he just calls 
does have a heart. Yeah, it looks so like a good play. Heart. Just call. This Andreas guy has shown that he raises some really bad hands. So, yeah, it looks pretty good. He's, he has been really polarized, actually. So, 10 for all doesn't seem that crazy. It looks like they're going to win, like, going to give a decent pot. Yeah. Um, I was just thinking it was my hand. Do I get the king to call? Is it good enough to go for the value? I have a nine high flush, which is pretty strong in this situation. But at the same time, what do I get called by? It's worse as the hand played. So let's see. Do you think it's just good enough to go for the win here? Is there any sizing other than all in even? Is there some 340s or something? 400s. Jungle, what, what's that look on your face? What do you like here? So, um, yeah, he can do that. He can do that. Uh, either way, it wouldn't have made much of a difference because the jack, the guy with the jacks, would have uh, would have just bet if he checked, right? When it raised in. Yeah, ended up being the same result. Nice patience there from our setting, setting up a bit of a trap. Ends up getting his man after all. 10 3, 9 10. Pairs the nine. Got a thousand watching. 427 people in the chat are liking the stream, at least, if not all of you guys. We are here sweating to a winner. Jungle man, Dan, in the building. And we are playing some high-stakes poker. $10,000 buy-in from Sunday. This is the final table. Every Tuesday, Super Millions, you can join in. I will be your host with a guest. And we got the best player in the uh, – best current reigning back-to-back 50K players – what do you call it? Is it the play? It's, it's, it's the it's a, what? It's the players' championship, right? The fifty k. Yeah. Well, they they can check. They do it. Yeah. Oh, we are seeing a flip. Ace queen suited to sixes. Ace queen suited in the lead. He needs some help going to the river. We will have a champion, and it is. What? It's a three side. That could be a seven. Oh, it's an eight. It is not. It's and if you have a champion, that was 50 <laughs> 50. That was pretty sick. I actually thought it was, but no, that will do it. Our Sunny's going to be your second place finisher. There is your champion. My man takes it down. 221,000. Andreas Nasman from Finland. What a performance, Jungle. I appreciate you. This has been a special one. This will be an amazing highlights. I put them up on Monday on my YouTube channel, and we can watch this, of course, on. A replay anytime you want. It's here, Jungle. You are a legend. Thank you for sticking with us. This was about a two and a half hour final. I appreciate you very much, my friend. Great to see you. Appreciate the commentary. And uh, again, maybe just on closing note, tell us where people can find you on social media and on your podcast that you have started. Can you tell them where they can find you? Uh, well, the podcast is called Winning the Game of Life. My social media is at the Dan Cates. Uh, Instagram is a little bit different content than. Uh, just all poker stuff and my Twitter is Jungle Man Dan there you heard it well ladies and gentlemen this is season 2 episode 49 in the books we appreciate you guys you had a shout out a giveaway a $300 giveaway for you next week when you tune in we'll make sure we get that off the ground but it will be episode 50 of season 2 thank you to Dan thank you to everyone we will see you next week